Guys, uh, there's no easy way to say this. The card explodes and we're all dead? No, it's not that. Wish to shoot your sauce. What? <laughs> is it is it wish to cheer? No. Because that is a pretty hard word to say. <laughs> is there I thought it was wish to tire or whatever. <laughs> Look. There's no easy way to say this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Idiocracy, the show where a bunch of idiots that don't know how to play D&D sit down and play D&D. Once again, I am joined by the boys. Ah. Uh, so he's going to say what now? Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire? <laughs> it's Worcestershire. <laughs> it's Worcestershire sauce. Or Worcestershire. Either way. You guys are still on that bit. You're still. I don't know. Alex said it. Okay. <laughs> so what's so difficult? That's I was so making funny. a joke. I was like a. Oh. It was be like a joke. Trans. Like I was transitioning into the the, the video. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry. I was on phone for a minute, so I had to like oh, enable. <laughs> Johnny's just as a point. I can hear him loudly sighing to show that. I just... The joke flew so high over your heads that God gave you a high five on the way by. No, he didn't. <laughs> I just... He, he, even, I... he even looked at me in disappointment. <laughs> I think a bird may have given me a high five. <laughs> now there's a beak in my eye. <laughs> There's a bee. <laughs> oh gosh! Did Michael, where's the bee? Where's the bee? There's a bee. <sighs> I, okay, let's just jump into it. Let's just. I'm no. Okay. Let's... <laughs> okay, because uh... I, I was about to say you guys are missing the important, the important fact of he's afraid of insects. Okay. And that's why he says it like that. Uh, what? No, it's it's how the meme is. Yeah. Yes, Michael is afraid of insects, and so says there's a bee. He's like, there's a bee. Last time, we left off. Our party was in the desert, or at least part of them. The other part weren't. Well, the other part kind of is, but kind of not. They were all in a desert. Some of them in a village. Some of them right outside of the mining village. We last leave off where Party A, as we should call them, I guess, has gone off and hijacked the TNT cart that was making its way to the village. In which they're taking the TNT cart to the... Vi Why did you guys have to hijack this thing again? Uh, because uh, I'm a badass. It was supposed to, I don't it was know, man. To go undercover and actually get down there. I see. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, party, uh, party B is sitting in the... Uh, they are sitting all in the village awaiting the first group to arrive with the TNT cart to finalize their plans of breaking out the people in the mines. So, we tune in to Morgoth and Vanessa with their uh, new heist friends in the TNT cart making its way to the village. Yes, friends. That's what you can call it. That is what you can call it. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm 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 not sure about all of you, but um, we might want to consider uh, our options here. Uh, we are uh, kind of uh, a man down uh, going back, and on top of that, did anyone bother to grab any of their? clothes or armor before we left we are supposed to go undercover right ah yes 
Hmm. Not that. <laughs> it seems we were too... Hasty in our, uh... In our plan to hijack the Okay. We have potential. We have time. Well, um... Well, another thought also crossed my mind. Um... So we head back. We get there. If the same guards are sitting at the gate, that, you know, if the same guards are still sitting there from where we left, it would be a little difficult if they recognized us from walking in and out of the village. Hopefully... By the time we get back, shift would have changed. But can we guarantee that the next set of guards is not going to... Well, you know... Also be able to recognize us. Yeah. Especially after what, you know, halfling number one did over there and shanked someone. Yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, I did what I needed to, okay? That's that is all that's all I gotta say. Yes, of course. What you needed to do. Okay. That's fair enough. But regardless. <sighs> either way, we're probably going to get recognized, but I'm sure there's going to be some way we can speed the cart through the village. At least to get to where we need to be on time. So it may eliminate the element of surprise. Mm. So should we actually go back and grab uh, some outfits? If they're still laying on the ground? It would be a better thing to do than just going in there. Yeah. Because it's way more obvious that we hijacked the TNT card. Yes, um, I it, it probably would be a little more reasonable to do that. It's not exactly the... Most sound of plans. It's but... not, yeah, it's not the most sound of plans, but it definitely would be a little better than just walking in with our current attire. It doesn't matter anyways. Y'all have to understand, it's not going to change the fact that we're two short guys and, well... Whoever the heck he is, and a cat. Like, it, it's not going to change this. They saw us all pretty much walk out together. Well, okay, this 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 one might be able to get away with it, as you see him point over to the other human. But, I mean, look at his condition. They're going to suspect something's up. <laughs> the other one, the human just kind of, like, looks up a little bit, and he goes, he's right. Um... I mean, if y'all want to, y'all can drop me off outside the village. If y'all see, if they see an injured guy, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna suspect something's up. I can maybe sneak in through like the side somewhere. I mean, I I guess that's fair enough, but. Yes, that is an option. But we also do have the option to play it off like we were attacked. Remember, there were two carts on the way. If they were expecting two carts, maybe we can play it off that we got attacked and this is all we have left. Oh, yeah. Very true. And uh, I can make it a little less obvious that I'm a cat, although it'd be very uncomfortable. Ah, um, and I mean... How so? Like, hiding my tail, like, under the armor, and, like, wearing... If they had... did I'm trying to remember if they had helmets on. I'm assuming they did because of their uh, guards, but... Maybe not face-covering helmets, but... Uh, I did not notice any with face covering. They didn't even really have armor, to be honest. Um, yes, to I mean, I mean, honestly, we're we're kind of wearing more clothing than they are. 
I'd rather not think about that. Yeah. But, uh, yes. Well, then maybe we'll look more official. That was a joke, but... Nonetheless, we need to do something, so... Yes, uh... I would say our best bet is to drop our injured man off, and then we try to make it look like we were attacked. I would also try to disguise our voices, so maybe, you know. I, I don't know about you, but I am not exactly uh, a person of the fine arts that can change my voice on the fly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's man, he, he does some good impressions. Get, 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 him, to, get him to do the uh, the impression of, uh, 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 what was his name? Uh. Oh gosh, uh, what was look? What was what was that guy's name that we met at the bar that one time? The bar. Only you go to the bar. I don't go to the bar. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, well, do the impression anyways. I don't know what the man sounds like. I'm. I, you know what? You know what? Fine. It's it's okay. He's terrible at impressions anyways. I was just trying to make him feel better. Well, I would say you're a good brother, at least. So that's, that's good. But, um, that's besides the point. You're going to have to try. Or just not talk. Oh, well, actually, no. It's probably best I don't talk either. I'm... I'm sorry. You want him to not talk? Cool. What? I, I can I can handle a few minutes of not talking. Oh no, I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about you. But me? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet your brother can type a voice pretty well. Did he talk to the guards before he got before he shanked them? I mean, I was yelling out for him to stop shaking them. But did your brother say anything? Did your halfling brother say do anything? I mean, I believe he did. I don't know. It's it's all it's still a little hazy. I just remember him going and stabbing people. It was. You are, did you I'm say anything? Like, I don't know. I was just stabbing people. Great. These are a, this is a good comedic duo. Um, oh maybe. yeah, yeah. This is a comedic duo. Says the the weird the weird man in in some weird suit of armor and a freaking cat lady. You really want to talk about a a comedy duo? I didn't say you looked funny. I said you guys talk funny and you you act funny. Well, maybe oh not talk really? Funny. Okay, know it all. You you guys are funny people. Let's say it like that. But it was supposed to be a compliment. I guess my sarcastic tone doesn't really come across that well. So, my apologies. Either way, we need to move on. So, are we going back to get the outfits, or are we just staying? Ah, uh, let's go back and get the outfits. You know what? I I kind of agree on that. We should probably go back. Oh, of course, no one listens to the other one over here. Okay. <sighs> so, you'll turn around and you'll start heading back. And uh, after traveling for a bit, you finally make it back to uh, the broken cart in the sand dunes. And uh, as you make it, uh, as you make it back, you see that uh, pretty much everything there is kind of the same. But you see a, a bit of the sand uh, has like kind of started. It started like halfway bury some of the bodies, and um, you can see that the like basically the wind is picking up some sand, just throwing it around every once in a while. Well, uh, it seems that uh, we got here just in the nick of time because if we didn't get here any, you know, any so if we didn't get here any sooner. Uh, 
it was a, it would be kind of a problem. Uh, yes, the bodies would have been buried by now. Yep. Although it's kind of good that uh, that there's sand on them. That's yes, because maybe we can tell that we were attacked a little easier. Yeah. Potentially. Mm. I guess that's the case. Um, there's just a, a quite a few issues here. Um, so none of the guards here have, uh, well, any set of armor that would fit, well, us. <laughs> so, uh, what exactly do you propose? Is there any... I, uh, do you have any plan for that, or...? Sorry, can you repeat that? I was looking at something. Um, well, the, all the armor here is not really suited for, well, us, considering we are not exactly of your stature. So... What are we supposed to do about that? Hmm. So maybe I can attempt to make a few adjustments to the armor size and we can fit it there, cut a little bit off the arms and the legs. I'm I'm sorry, are you a blacksmith? I mean I can whack at it with a sword. I'm sure it'll cut it at some point. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I figured it was more cloth than actual full armor, but I mean some of it's cloth some well some of it's leather and, like there, there's hide armor but there's also you know like a like a metal like shoulder plate or whatever i mean if you, you think, think you, you can, can do it feel free them. but i'm not sure you're going to get it as refined as you might think whacking it with a sword not to mention wouldn't that dull your sword i know how to sharpen my sword but yeah, I, I can see what you mean. Well, then what do you propose we do about this situation? Uh, well... I mean, ooh, wait. What if... Me and... Wait, 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 wait. What if... You dress both of us up... Like babies... And we sneak in that way. I don't think that will work. No. Why would that work? Just just indulge me on that. Why would that work? Who's going to try to kill a baby? Why because would two that... random people bring their two babies with a TNT cart into town? But when you put it like that, it sounds dumb. Oh, really? Hmm. Yes, because, you know, at least one of those babies looks like they shanked a guard. Hey, no, 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 I don't look like, hey, do you see a speck of blood on me? And you just like look at him and he's just got blood all over him. No, apparently you fell into a thing of tomatoes. Exactly, and that's that's what I'm going to be telling people. You know what? You're a smart you're one. What? So you're going to be a baby covered in tomato sauce? Yeah. Well, oh, this is how uh, I oh, die. Okay, look, look, look. The adults are talking. <laughs> yes, please. The adults are talking. So, um, I'm not sure if you have any other plan but I, I I mean he is partially right that the costumes are only the costumes aren't really going get, to get us that far because oh, a, lo a lot of the guards have at least seen our faces well here's what my plan was this is what I was thinking me and Vanessa dress up as guards and you two are going to be tied up on the back of our cart like we caught you trying to ambush our cart and you got most of us but not us two so we have you two tied up in the back. 
Um, because they saw you and they know who you are, so it doesn't look like we're transporting you back to be put into a prison. We'll, Without the putting in prison part. Yes, we'll finagle a way to make sure you don't get taken by the guards at the gate. How? But how do we know that they're not going to recognize you two? Well, I mean, I'm sure I can figure a way to cover these horns. They don't, they don't peak too much. I can just use a hood or something along with the rest of the armor. Same way that I would hide my ears and most of my fur. Um. I know it's not ideal. Yeah, obviously that's not ideal, but you can definitely try. Okay. I mean, if you have a more ideal plan, then please oblige us. Well, um, unfortunately, our options are a little limited. Extremely. What I can say, now, this is not exactly the smartest of plans. What I could say we can do, and now, like I said, it's not the smartest, but we bring the TNT cart up toward the village, but we don't bring it close enough for them to see. We send one or two people inside to go and get some others. Um, and the others will essentially come out and help convince the guards to come out and pick up the TNT cart. So... The guards will come and grab it. They will start to take it back. And then as we get back into the city, we jump them! No, I mean, it, I, I don't... Actually, he's right. That would be the plan. We would then hijack the cart again once we actually get into the city. Kind of, you know, and it's, we, could, we could somehow get them in a secluded alley or something. Because if I'm if I'm correct, the ones that guard the outside of the village and the ones that guard, well, where the TNT's going, they they they're probably separate guards. So, of course, the ones at the edge of the village have seen us, and well, want me and him. But the ones definitely. in the pit probably have never seen us. They just know the fact that we're halflings. So all we have to do is just leave this human here. He can sit here, pretend he got attacked, and both of you were and both of you were sent out to uh, to get assistance. I, that, that that could work. Yeah, especially because we could say that oh, we stumbled upon the scene while we were out exploring. Yes, we would have an alibi. Interesting. It's either that or we're dragging this cart back and having to dump off the human somewhere. No offense. Don't worry, none taken. Ow. Yes, so, we don't want to dump off the human person. So, um... Yes, well, I guess the human will just stay here and then... Wait, what will you two do in this situation? Um... Just go back to the village through a different entrance or something? Go sideway or a back way or something? Yeah, that's, uh... That's something that's a little, a little fuzzy in the books there. Um... I'm not entirely sure. I mean... We, we might just hide out... I mean, we might just hide out nearby or, you know, maybe, like, sneak under the the wagon as we go in. I was I was thinking maybe you sneak under the wagon as well. So Either that or since they know that 
uh, we have a pris that they should have a prisoner under the TNT. Yes, yeah, that is a good point. But what if they go? What if they go to check, and they find two? True. I mean, there's the potential for them just be like, oh, well, I guess they just caught somebody along the way or something. But I don't know. Honestly, they're probably so stressed and tired that they don't really care. But we can't account for that. Point. So That is a good point. But, yes. Not to mention they would have they would probably thank us for capturing someone who stabbed guards. Yep, very true. But still we need to do something. So I'm going to assume that you two will either stand in a place nearby or do something with with the cart and then our human friend over here will occupy the cart and say that he was attacked and then we will go I guess tell the guards to the, the scene that we stumbled upon I I think that might be able to work human how good are you at acting injured <laughs> yeah I don't need to act that way <laughs> well that's good to hear uh, human, do you need me to heal you up a little bit more? No, no point. Look, I save the healing for the ones that are going to be fighting, because, I mean, it's going to take a lot to get me back on my feet. Okay. So, you you save that for the others. I'll, I'll manage with my stuff. It hurts a little bit, but, I mean... I mean, what else is there? Pain, pain's only a learning curve. That's all it is. Yep, I know that's right. When I take your time. Uh, it's gonna be a while. Just take your time getting dressed uh, as the guards. Then make sure you don't hurt yourself even more. Wait, wait. You you want us to bring the guards all the way out here? We're like an hour away. Oh, well, no, we're not going to make you take that long. We're going to pull up a little closer. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he still needs to take his time Getting so he doesn't pull something off. else. That, yes, that, that is a good point. Yeah. Here, let's, uh, let's grab some stuff here, and then on our way back, he can kind of swap his armor. Yeah, that's uh, so, it seems it's all settled, so let's head out. Let's do this. Yep. So he goes to hop on, and the other halflings just stand, just kind of like standing there, like. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to just shank anyone. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for us, but unfortunately for you, no. Well, that's kind of a disappointment. And then he hops on. And then you'll ride off back to the village. So, um, you guys spend the next hour basically traveling, and you get back to the village. Um, and just as you're about to get to the, uh, just as you go start to come over a sand dune and see the village um, you then uh, you then feel the the wagon come you know like basically come to like a, a very like fast stop uh, as the uh, the little spike breaks on the side have like dropped into the ground and, uh, you and then uh, one of the halflings who's kind of like trying to uh, who's kind of like sitting he's in the back but he's behind both of you uh, in the front seat he's in the just right behind up against the wall of it essentially just just like whoa why'd we stop we're uh, right here 
If you open your eyes, you might be able to see a village. You know, the ones with guards and the ones expecting a cart like this with TNT. Yes, I understand that, but didn't have to stop it so fast. Geez, somebody could have fallen or, I don't know, maybe had the TNT fall down and maybe, you know, blow up. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, do, do you want them to see the cart? Whatever. Let's let's go and let's go and deal with this. So, well, the view. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Yep. Hopefully, you can convince them to come out here. Uh, if, if you're not out here in the next hour, um, I will just assume that both of you either got lost, killed, or arrested. And, uh, I don't know. We have a lot of TNT here, so I'm not sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll have to ride in at full speed, just hoping for the best. Let's hope it doesn't get to that point. Wait, oh, that's an option? No, 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 that's... That is the last option. Yes, actually. that that is the very, the very last option. I'm just saying that more to encourage them to come back. Oh, no. Man, we'll that sounded like a fun option. Jeez, fine. We'll hide under the red boomy sticks for. Ooh, we got red boomy sticks. Do not. Do not. Do not call them red boomy sticks. <laughs> do not touch them. Okay? Please. All we are doing is going under them and hiding, and you are going to stay quiet. <sighs> Well, if all else fails, and we get attacked, I'm using these red boomy sticks on some people. Just get under the TNT. Okay, okay, jeez. You see the first one start to go under, and, he, and uh, as the second one's about to start trying to like slide un under the TNT, he goes, Like I said, you have one hour. After that, we will... I re please be here within the hour. We'll try our best. We will do our absolute best. Okay. And then you just see him start to climb under, and the the human who's kind of like sitting on the who's kind of like sitting on the back of the cart's kind of like basically, uh, he's basically like waddling over to the front of it, and he gets up in the driver's seat, and uh, uh, you see like like as both of you are like kind of like walking in front of the car you, you know do you, you see the uh, the two horses on the front as well uh they kind of like freak out a little bit as uh both of you were starting to walk away and the human just the, the human kind of just like reaches his hand out and uh like looking up at the sky he reaches his arm out like it uh, like toward the horses and just goes shh be quiet i'm gonna i'm gonna rest here for a minute I need both of you to not freak out, please. I don't want this. I don't want this fake. Uh, I don't want this fake destruction of the cart to be real. Huh. Uh, good luck to you two, and uh, please don't let the halflings take over this cart. Trust me, we'll do our best to not let that happen. Cool. And, uh, well, you know where to find me. And that, he just kind of lays down just on the front, uh, the front seat there and just kind of bask in the, the heat rays. Huh. Well then, Vanessa... Let's yep. get going. I'm going to let you do most of the talking. That's, I want to say, probably for the best, but not at the same time. Well, I'm sure you can be more convincing than I can. Yeah. Let's hope. Yes, please. So, do you want to run there screaming for the guards, or do you want to... Yeah, I would do that just to sell 
sell the bitch a little bit. Hey, you can even use thaumaturgy. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. You can also use thaumaturgy. You can yeah. also use your bit, your uh, <laughs> your outdoor voice. Yeah, this is true. We are outside, so. Yeah, you could use your outdoor voice, your big boy voice. Yeah, that's probably just what we use as our big, as our big adult voices. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it. Yep. So. Let's get this part over with. So, um, as you start running back, you, uh, you know, of course, see the, the two guards out front. Uh, you, you see the two guards out front that you saw from uh, before, and you see uh, uh, one person in the watchtower kind of like he's turned, and it looks like he's talking to somebody else as you're running back, and you see a second guy kind of walking up. Um, you assume that, like, he's relieving the other guy of a shift or whatever. Um, and they, you know, both of you running up, both of them, like, turn, look off the watchtower, and two people up at the front, like, quickly start, you know, drawing their weapons, and they're, they're like, they're like, they're like, stop! I, what? Vanessa's just like, guards, guards, come help, there's another guard injured, I don't know, there's just a lot of TNT on that car, I, I don't know, he's injured! I think he was attacked? I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I... I'm, I'm I'm confused. You're there's TNT and then look. Let me handle this, okay? You're not exactly fit for this. Okay, look. I don't know what kind of drugs you're on, but we're expecting a shipment later today. It's not even time yet. I, I don't know, but there's a cart over the hill. He's injured, and I, we think he was attacked. It looks like he was attacked. <sighs> uh, of course, it has to happen on my shift. <sighs> okay. He's lit. <sighs> Vanessa's just like, he's literally right over that hill. Okay, okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he turns and he turns to the watchtower. He's like, Damascus, come down. You and Emil's going out. You're going to go check about some cart, I guess. I don't know. Could be the cart we're waiting on. Could, could not. Yeah, uh, I, I'll be down in a sec. Okay, when he comes down, we'll he'll go out there for that. Are you sure you saw TNT on the back of that cart? There were red sticks. I don't know what else to say. Oh, no, there was were, right there. there it was wasn't a like pile of red sticks. A massive like. It, are you sure it wasn't like firewood and you know just the the, the reflection mm -hmm. of the light kind of made it reddish? No, they were very clearly red. Okay. And the other guy kind of like, uh, kind of walks up behind and he goes, uh, yeah, Damascus, uh, you, you and Emil here, head off, go f see what this cart's about and if it's our stuff, bring it back. Our, 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 okay. Yeah, um, we'll bring it back. Okay. I got my two best. I've got two guards uh, coming with you. Thank you, sir. I I wasn't sure. I didn't want to perform any. Uh, I'm I'm a cleric. I didn't want to perform any drastic medical unless I get dr drastic medical uh, stuff unless I got him into a town or something. Uh, don't worry. We'll we got it all handled. Thanks for at least telling us. Okay, you two go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Um, and you see both of them like quickly, like uh, you see both of them quickly, like jog past both of you going in the direction y'all were talking about. Uh, 
So I guess, do we follow them? This is oh. a general question. Vanessa's already, like, following them to make sure the injured guy is all right. Okay. Okay, well, I, that's... That's the answer to that. I'm following, too. Okay. So... Uh, both you end up, you know, you follow and uh, you get you get up just over the hill where the cart is, and you see the, uh, you know, you see the human kind of just laying there, and uh, one of the one of the guards goes, um, I excuse me, are are you okay? And the the guy, uh, you know, the the guy on the cart just kind of turns and he goes, or uh, he turns his head a little bit and he goes. No, but yes. Look, I've had a long day. I'm kind of in some pain. Can you give me five more minutes? I look, look, look. I. What happens to the rest of your caravan? I. Uh, I don't know. It's it's all a phase. It it it's it's a it's a weird blur. One second, there were, you know, there, there was like eight of us. and Eight? This cart looks like it only could fit like four people. There was another cart. And about an hour's back. I was the only one to... I was the only one able to do this. I was told to t bring this here no matter what, so... I got it this far, but... Horses refused to move, and the, the brakes kind of set themselves into the ground and I've been trying to muster up whatever I could to, to get it here we, were, we weren't even supposed to we weren't expecting you for like a couple more hours what like, like why are you are you here so early I don't think you understand we got attacked I had to rush here and I almost made it but oh gosh it's uh it's pretty painful I, I, okay um Look, D Damascus, go hide, you know, help help him out. Get help him out and get his stuff. I'm I'm gonna go inspect the TNT to make sure it's all good. Okay, okay, yes sir. And uh, of course, uh, you see the Damascus uh, kind of hop up onto the side, and he uh. He uh, he looks. He hops up on the side and he's like, uh, "Okay, I'm not exactly uh, what's the word? Um, good at medical stuff. Uh, but uh, let's just let's just see the condition you're in." And the the guy goes and he pulls up his shirt and just and you see like pretty much a hole in his stomach. Um, oh my god! Yeah, like the guy's still bleeding. Um, <laughs> that bad. Huh. Um. I just kind of look over, like, to Vanessa and whisper, maybe you should go over there and try to do something. Vanessa nods and, and like, bad. tries to get in close to the human to at least help the other guy to assess the damage. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm not exactly, I, look, I'm not exactly a medical, prof uh, m medical professional or anything, but I'm going to tell you, you're gonna die if you're gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I understand. It hurts, but it's uh, it's just what that's what I signed up for for this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, TNT's uh, pretty valuable. Um. Huh, okay. Well, let's at least get it patched up somehow. Um. Did you bring anything with you? Uh, I got, a uh, got TNT in the back. Gosh, um, anybody else got an idea? Uh, if, does any, can anybody rip a piece of cloth off? I can, uh, patch it up with cloth enough where it would hopefully stop the bleeding. And uh, 
you see you see both of the you see both the humans kind of just look at you kind of weird and uh and you know the injured guy just goes look i'm not gonna let you rip off my i'm not gonna let you rip off my shirt I just, look this is a good shirt i like it i'd rather just die with it i'd rather just die with it <laughs> Well, I, I would gladly give you mine, but unfortunately, I will die without a shirt if I go back into town and I'm not in guard-regulated clothing. So, I, I'm i sorry, friend, but uh, I think your time has come. Fine. And I just, like, I take off my stuff and, like, take off my shirt. Let's just use this. All it is is a fucking undershirt, so. Vanessa then tries to use the shirt to, um, patch up the bleeding enough where it'll last them a while. Yeah, uh, thanks. That should... Maybe not kill me? Appreciate it. Yes, uh, thank you. Like I said, I would gladly help, but you know, my my super, my supervisor would kill me. Boss doesn't like it, you know. He always wants us all to be in uniform, all that good stuff. Uh, speaking of that, as well, what what happened to what happened to your uniform? I don't know. Maybe a huge hole in my stomach. Okay, don't got don't have to get smart with me, jeez. <sighs> Mary, you, you you're good over there. Yeah, I I'm fine over here. I'm just just kind of like looking. This is all the TNT. I thought there was supposed to be more. I I I don't I don't understand. There was supposed to be like a whole cart full. This. It's like maybe like three quarters of a cart full. I don't know. Don't look into it too much. I mean, we we've got plenty here. I I, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's it it's just it's it's just not all of it. Like, look. Um, when you got attacked, like, did you? Did you by chance lose any? Like, did any drop? Look, heck if I know. <laughs> Don't you see? I'm in a... I'm not exactly in the best shape to sit here and count the amount of dynamite sticks I have. Okay. I, I was just asking. Look, they're expecting a certain amount. And if a certain amount's not there, they're going to... You know they're going to throw a huge fit and everything. I'm just wondering. So... Whatever. Okay. We need to get the cart. We need to get him. All this back into town. So I guess hop on. I must ride into town. Uh, I hate to intrude, but is it okay if we uh, come in with you guys? I'm gonna. I need to. I'm gonna redress his room one, wound when we get back into town. Um. Yeah. That. That's fine. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, thank you. And hops on. Well, I mean, she, she was kind of already on, but she, like hops into the back. Get more goth also hops on. Yep. So you hop on. Um. Uh, you end up hopping on and everything, and uh, they pull the, the little brakes out. They sit, they get up on the front, and uh, they're about to head off, and then all of a sudden you hear uh, a sneeze happen from like inside the TNT pile. Just a, a just a true. Uh, um, oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. I I'm sorry. I didn't uh I don't know why I sneezed. It's probably sand in my nose. Oh, um but bless you then. Uh 
uh, okay, let's just snuff at this. Okay, Damascus, drive us into town. And then you'll head off and you'll get, uh, and you'll head to the town. You'll head over the hill, go right down, and uh, as you make it to the bottom of the hill, you then see the other guards kind of, uh, there's about four or five guards kind of like all surrounding the cart, uh, looking, uh, kind of, kind of like looking and inspecting everything and, uh, and then the, you know, the first guard from before is just like, well, color me impressed. The TND cart actually was early this time. So, uh, I... I I'm a, I'm a little confused. Why why exactly is uh is there an injured guy on the back here, along with uh two people who are not even in uniform? I'm I'm just here to I I applied a dressing to his wound. Uh, me and my friend are gonna like re, put it on like change it to like actual medical stuff when we get back in town. I they just let me hop on for a little so at least. These get to a clean area without all this sand. Huh. Yes, that's, it. that's exactly why we're here. Uh, Vanessa, I need you to roll me deception. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Vanessa, I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, that's the explanation she gave to the other guys. Uh, deception, deception. A uh, fifteen. Yeah, that's decent. So you see the you know the first guy kind of. You see him, you know, start to look a more, little more suspicious. And then he kind of, like, you see him, like, reach his hand down, uh, like, toward his weapon again. And he's just like, look, I'm going to ask you one more time. What exactly brought you two to come upon this card? Without any sort of, you know, sight on what happened. Because you said you two wandered oh. upon the cart in this condition. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we went out. We exited from the village earlier today to go out for a walk. We came back. Well, when we were coming back, we um, stumbled upon the scene of this accident. And then we came. And we came to get there. the guards. So we walked with them back to assess the cart and the damage because my friend here is a cleric and I'm a paladin. So we both have healing abilities, so we figured we might be able to help. And so they gave us a ride back here. That's why we don't have guard regulation armor on. Does that make any more sense? Sorry, with our so, first uh, explanation for this situation, we're all a little so, flustered, so discombobulated. So you're telling me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a, uh, I'm a little confused on how all this went down. You're, are you telling me you're, you're a guard that's supposed to be on this convoy? Cause you you mentioned that it? you mentioned that there's a reason you don't have regulation oh, you, armor on. You he had mentioned it because you brought up why we had there was two people. Why we didn't? Yeah, why well, there's two people without regulation armor on. We're not guards. Okay. We're just bystanders that they brought back here. <sighs> All they did was let us out of the village, and we. We're just going for a walk, and then as we were coming back, we stumbled upon this. I see. Well, this is a very weird situation. 
Because you have to understand from my perspective, both of you left this town earlier today. Yep, and then we went. They we made. You also walk. you also left short shortly behind you. There were two halflings, and there were two humans. Now I didn't get I didn't get it, my eye really on two humans that were there because the two halflings caused a ruckus. But if I'm gonna say something, I don't recognize the, the injured fellow right there. And I've got to say. He does look somewhat familiar. And if I don't recognize a person, but they look familiar, especially on the day of, it's a little suspicious. And on top of that, we have never, and I mean never, had this cart come in early before. We weren't supposed to be expecting this cart in for another three hours. And magically, it is here ahead of schedule. Every time we get a shipment, it is always at least an hour late. They, You got to understand how we work around here. We don't have rules. We have suggestions. Huh. Interesting. There's, there's a reason why, why there's a bunch of... Why there's a bunch of guards at places like the edge of the village where we have to watch people coming in and out because of the fact that there are no rules they are suggestions just like how I would get in zero trouble at all for hacking both of you down taking the TNT sticking a stick in both of your mouths and lighting it up so I'm going to ask you one more time how did you stumble upon this cart? I've already told you. We were walking. And we saw the scene of the accident as we were coming back. At, at this point, Vanessa just kind of like, like gets up and like starts moving her way away from the village, like towards the back. Like, uh, we're just tourists. If you don't want us back in the village, that's fine. We will go somewhere else. It's very fine. Uh, Morgoth, I need you to roll me deception. Okay. Mm Come on, Morgoth, don't let me down now. It's a good thing I have a plus three in this. At a sixteen. You uh, you see the uh, the guard there, you know. Still, he still he has his hand on his weapon. And he just goes, hmm. Fine. And you, you see, he takes his hand off off of his weapon. And he goes, I believe your story for now. I think there might be some truth into it. I could say that you're definitely Taurus, which I don't know what you're trying to tour what inside the city other than you might be passing through, but I can't exactly believe your entire story. So if you don't mind, I'm going to I'm going to send a few extra people to kind of deal with to, to kind of escort the cart. You can travel with them to the edge of the pit, but once that happens, they'll have to drop you off. That is completely A-OK -okay with us. Yeah, I that is absolutely wanna, fine. I just want to make sure this engine man is okay. Okay. Okay, boys. Uh, okay, look. Uh, Tinsky, Lebowski, you two... You're gonna make you. You're gonna go with this card as well. You're gonna make sure that uh, this uh, fine gentleman that I don't know the name of yet, which I'll get acquainted with if he's really one of one of the guards. Make sure he gets through the infirmary, and on top of that, make sure this TNT card gets in the pit. For the rest of you, I'd say 
walk around, patrol, patrol the town a bit, see what you can find. And then, of course, all of them's just like, "Sir, yes, sir," and start moving their, start moving on to to their certain, you know, their duties. Okay, well, y'all can proceed. Uh, Damascus, meal. Good luck. Uh, th thanks, sir. And then they just kind of start heading more into the town again. Vanessa shoots another quick, well, shoots a quick, thank you, sir, as uh, they're, like, leaving. You just simply, you just simply see him like kind of like tilt his head down, a little bit, um, like, almost like a little nod. And with that, y'all move into the town. So you end up riding for a bit, and uh, you are coming up on a T intersection that kind of uh, that leads to. Um, it, the the T intersection is basically in between, uh, or it's basically to the right. Uh, it leads down toward the archery shop, and then straight ahead is pretty much where the pit is. Uh, and like as y'all kind of arrive at that portion, y'all are gonna do anything Vanessa, or just keep riding? Vanessa, um, like quote-unquote treats like the wound but really she's just um just trying to like talk to the injured man injured human mm -hmm. uh she kind of like whispers i don't know how far we can get like this but you might be on your own with the half wound Oh, yeah. That's going to be a painful ride. <sighs> Look, I've already I've already figured it out. Look, if both of you can jump the if both of you can jump the two guys on the side, you know, take them down quickly. I th I think I might be able to get the two in the front. Vanessa kind of like nods as she as I cast cure wounds on him, so he has a little bit more extra pep in his step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank Which you. Which is uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Oh yeah. So he's just like, ah, oh wow, that feels a lot better. Thank you. Vanessa nods again, like. And then she turns to Morga, like she like gets overbacked by Morga, and she whispers the plan that the human came up with. Can you actually say the plan? I was like zoned out for two seconds. Okay, <laughs> Vanessa and Morga take the two on the side, and the human will try to take the two up front. All right, so we take the two on the sides, and the guy takes the one on the front. Got it. If we're quick and easy enough with it, we can get this done swiftly. Okay. Cool. Well. So. Uh, yeah, both of you. Uh, what is your plans for taking them out quickly? Vanessa's going to give Bardic inspiration to Morgoth so he could take his out quicker. Okay. All righty. What is your bardic um, inspiration? What do you do? In a sing song, sing songy voice, Vanessa's like, "Go get him, Morga. You got this." I kind of give her like a halfway, like, "What the hell was that?" But then I'm also at the same time I'm like, "I got this." <laughs> <laughs> She did like she does it quietly enough where the guards well, yeah, up of front course. don't understand. Yeah. Okay. So now what do y'all do? Um. Oh, 
gosh, I don't know. What do, what do you think we should do? Well, you gotta take the you gotta take both of them out. How do you want to do it? Vanessa is going to uh, use her long sword with two hands. She's going to actually put away her shield, like so that she can use it two-handedly, and okay. going to jump from the cart and like full force slam, like slight slice downwards at the one on her side, like nearest to her. Okay. Um... Okay. Well, I was going to try to be like subtle, maybe like break one of their necks, and then. <laughs> Okay, she's doing full, like... Well, you're going full blast, so I guess here we go. Um... It's, it's quick and, like... Not so are y'all are you, are you, just throwing stealth out the window, or...? Yeah, we need to think about this for a second. Yeah, we should probably actually think about this. Um... Hmm. I don't know yeah, how we, to stealthily... Because we need to kill them, but... We need to get rid of them, but... Oh... I... V Vanessa, like, pulls out some pocket sand. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> no, not pocket sand. I mean, hey, it, if it works, if it works. it works. <laughs> if it works, it works. Vanessa, it's like... You get the other guy. I'm gonna try to make this one sleep. Now, but see, what am I supposed to do? Oh, gosh. I thought you were gonna try to like cast it on every on like all the other people. I I would, but you know, the only two people that are close enough would probably work without you know getting us all to sleep. I can just jump off the car. <laughs> Supposed to be hopping off scene anyway. You know what? Yeah. So I'm. We're, when we jump off the cart, I'm gonna. If this doesn't work, the, then I mean, still out the window anyway. So. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the sleep sand onto the cart, so because everyone will be close by at that point. Okay. Although the human would probably go to sleep as well. Well, but, we can just get him out of there. Oh well, he's being sent to the infirmary anyways. We'll we'll just take him there. Uh, well, no, we can't take him there. We have to get the cart down to the thing. Yeah, that's what we're going to tell them. Well, you know, we're taking like, him to the taking him to the infirmary after we just slept four guards. Well, no, no, that's what we're going to tell the guards while we're getting him out of the cart. So you're going to get him out of the cart and then, okay, that's fine. And then we have with them after we make them all sleep, we're gonna wake up the halflings on it. Yeah, that's fine. Vanessa, like, in a louder voice, like, um, do you guys, is it okay if we take the engine man to the infirmary and you guys continue going on? Do what you guys are supposed to do? Um,. I mean, if 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 that's what you want to do, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna stop you. Our orders were to take him to the infirmary, but I mean, if you want to do that for us, that'd save us time, and we can go sh we can go and uh, we we can go on ahead and take this cart down. So it would help us out a lot. Yeah, um, me and my yeah, friend here will. Fun. Yeah, me and my friend here will uh, take him to the infirmary then. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yes. Uh, well, I uh, appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, grab him and, uh, you know, once you get him off the cart and settled, uh, let me know. We'll uh, we'll head off and you can go to the infirmary. Uh, the infirmary, uh, so if you go down toward the pit, um, pretty much where we're going, uh, if you go down uh, another block down to the, uh, to the pit area and then... On the right, you're going to see a little sh strip of buildings. Um, about halfway down, you're going to see uh, a, like a white tarp in front of a window. That's pretty much the infirmary. 
Uh, right, thank so you. This... Vanessa's getting the, uh, like, help, trying to get the human up, standing upright, so that they can hop off the car. And Vanessa just kind of whispers, I got a plan. What? No, she whispers that oh, to, to the, the human. human. Oh, the human, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what's your plan? I'm going to cast sleep on them. Well, it requires the same, which I have. I don't know what you're telling me. Just go ahead and cast sleep on them before they drive off. Okay. But, and then once they're like off the cart, Vanessa's gonna cast sleep. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. I was trying to remember how much D8 is. 98. Yeah, good luck. Roll that. Let's see if you get it. So you cast it on all four of them? Yeah. Wow, that's got a wide range. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming they're all in 20 feet of each other, right? Yeah, some some like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that is going to be... 40. Yep. Okay. You made, yeah, you made them all fall asleep. Oh, this is going brilliantly. <laughs> okay, let's let's take turns. <laughs> well, answer. let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh... Well, let's get this done. Cool. Uh, what are we gonna do with? What are we gonna do with them then? Vanessa, <clears throat> moving like there's like at like it starts to move their sleeping bodies like off to the side. Yeah, let's just throw them in the, like a back alley somewhere, real quick. Okay. <laughs> you see him go over, grab a body. You see him, like, kind of wince in pain for a moment, uh, but he still kind of, like, drags the body. Uh, you know, get it get around a corner and, you know, go and hide them. So, after he does that... Um, Vanessa, uh, like, pulls out, like, tries to pull out the halfling from under the TNT. Yeah, you do that. The TNT kind of like, kind of like topple and roll a little bit, and uh, uh, one of the half you you hear like a, a little thud as it like it's a little bunk, and it's just like, ah, gosh, dang it! You gotta. <laughs> We're in the city. But I'll hurry up. Jeez, <sighs> she didn't have to do that, man. That's gonna leave a whelp on the back of my head. Stop complaining. She was trying to help you out. And look, Not look, I'm a little cramped from sitting in there for so long. I kind of assumed I accidentally put you guys to sleep as well. What? Put to... Huh. Um. Well. Let's keep moving before the guards... You know, it is kind of peculiar. Maybe it's because we were sitting under all that TNT? Huh. That is uh, ve very, sh very strange. Um. Huh. Well, okay. Uh, nonetheless. Um. So what are we, what are we doing now? Going into the pit and then freeing everyone. Shouldn't we go let the others know? They know that their uh, hue is TNT explode. I see. Um, they have from, from the plan that we talked up uh, earlier today was that they would have their spotters let them know when a TNT cart has arrived, and then they would set up and wait for TNT exploding to happen, and then they will rush in when TNT explodes. Mm, that is that that is a good point. Um huh. Well uh, If that's the case, well I guess let's uh let's head off and get this TNT started. That's what I'm talking about. I'm ready to blow something up Could you not talk so loud? 
I'm ready to blow something up! Morgoth, I don't think you thought this through, because I don't think we can get down there. Why do you say that? Because we only have one guard-looking person. Yeah, honestly, this guy, I don't think he can pull off a guard anymore. I mean, shoot, he struggled on the way in here. Well, he did a better job than you did. I'm sorry that I was that I was born as a halfling. Yes, I was too. Yeah, and you see how much help you've been. What we can do is probably throw one of the TNT down into the pit. What? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm not exactly following here. You want us to throw TNT into the pit for them not to notice us? I don't think we'll be able to get down there without them noticing us. Unless you all want to lay low while the guy drives us down there. Well, the human drives us down there. Oh, man, I really don't want to climb under that again. Um... Uh... Well, you may have to. I apologize, but... Yes, I'm not entirely sure that we'll have any other option. Sorry, brother, but looks like we're going to have to hop back under again. Actually, uh, if you, uh, you you guys are halflings, so if you guys just lay down, you probably probably won't be seen it like easy, as easier anyway. Um... But that's... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you you do know that the pit is like an, like, there's like elevation, right? Yeah. And the ones that are higher are going to see into the pit, right? Like, they're going to, they're going to see into yeah. it, it. Sorry, that slipped my mind for a second. <laughs> I thought of a joke, but it was too stupid, I'm not going to say it. So, uh, Morgan, do you want to try to get the, at least the upper half of the guard outfit on I mean it wouldn't hurt so yeah, yeah I guess that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do that Vanessa's also gonna try but while she's trying she's gonna be like get under it we'll try to drive down there uh, gosh dang it just get under there you just see the halflings just crawl under Basically shoving the TNT on top of themselves again. So. You start putting on the stuff. You know, on the armor. And start to get ready. Yeah. Vanessa's... Uh, like, once yep. she's done the getting dr the upper half dressed, uh, she's going to... Like make sure any TNT that fell when they when they came out when they got out from under it was is back up on top. Okay. And then she's gonna sit in the cart. Yeah, Morgoth's just sitting there trying to stuff hyped up for all this. And he still has bard, bardic inspiration. I know, but I feel like for this situation, I need to be even more hyped up. <laughs> even more hyped than bardic inspiration? Even yes. more hyped than bardic mother flipping inspiration. Yes, I'm trying to get to the point of pure mother flipping rage. So, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sorry, I'm trying to grab something. He's he's setting up the battle map. Well, I'm setting up the map in general. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just messing around. Oh no, the dramatic music! Oh no, not the dramatic music. No! No! As I hear a boo doo I'm like, uh oh, something's happening. Take this time to be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I think I'm also gonna go to the bathroom while I have the chance. Yes, probably for the best. Yes. Okay, now that he's gone, I need to call upon Morgoth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hadn't taken off my headset. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is typically what happens, so I just thought I would. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I would pro <laughs> Would you like me to just take my headset in the bathroom and just mute? <laughs> Split more goth, yes? Nah, nah, it's, 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 it's good. I'll wait till you get back. Okay, alright, I'll be back. Okay. I'm so glad Justin's not here for this. So, while we're uh, taking this little break and doing stuff, how's the rest of you? Y'all having a great time? Uh, just chilling and watching some D&D &D memes. Okay, okay. Hey, John, I roll three D D10 real quick. Why? <laughs> just trust me. 
And just tell me what each individual result is. Uh, five, eight, ten. Five, eight, ten. Gotcha. I can't go because the kid from Air Bud posts. <laughs> what? Oh, it's it's a joke. It's a uh. It's a meme here, and it's a uh, player. Hey, uh, I can't make it to the games tonight. And the DM's just like, roll me 3d10. And it's like a d10 list of, like, excuses. So there's, like, choose an intro, choose a scapegoat, and choose a delay. <laughs> and what you got here was... a. Uh, I can't go because the kid from Airbud posted my news on Instagram. I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> I'm surprised we got this far. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I guess I want to go back to being muted. So, uh, what's your weekend plan? So... Uh, you know, work. go to work. That's about it. Uh, you know, planning for D and D. Yeah. What's your weekend plans? I guess just do D and D too. Oh, you're planning for D&D &D as well?
I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Yo, that's he's, dope. He's, it's like he's in a second campaign and just doesn't want to tell you. He's like, look, man, I've got my own campaign I gotta deal with. So I don't need you stressing me out about this one. Cool. Has everyone made it back yet? As I know. <sighs> Is Justin back yet? Nope. Cool. Well, looks like we get to chill here a little longer. Yeah. That's okay. It's giving me more time to set up stuff. All right, I'm back. 
Oh, he's back now after so long. Well, I had a doo doo. Oh, wow, he had a doo doo. How special. How special. <laughs> okay, uh. Let's see. Hooray, back to espionage. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Before all out of war! <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, this is gonna Wait, be Is everybody fun. back now, or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. cool. Everyone that's important right now. Everyone that's, that's important. important. <laughs> that's important, well, well for the like, scene, like... he means. Yeah, I'm you, you guys know what I mean. Like they're active in the story. Don't worry, I understand. Don't worry. When when Arilo comes back into the story, he'll be he'll be the most important well. party member. Absolutely. Are you still trying to set stuff up? Kind of. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, I was just asking. I just heard you go do do do, and then you were typing stuff. So I was like, I, yeah. Um, I, there's so much stuff I gotta throw into this, and I'm trying to make sure that I got everything. Look, man, I gave you guys a lot of options. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of potential <laughs> options. A lot of potential options. I know this is out of the blue, but could you change the background, the flames? Of... What? The background Sorry. of what? The the green screen. Um, I I could, but it would it would kind of. It would kind of take a while. Because I'd have to go find flames, download that, import it into OBS, then line it up good enough, and then and then do the filter. And Yeah, so um, moving on. So, Arala, why would... Sorry, get Waffles, why, why do you want flames behind Johnny? Because of of all the explosions we're gonna make. <laughs> um. Okay.
Okay, cool. I think I'm good for now. Oh, that was... There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, I'm sure I kind of hope there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> a lot going on. Lots of going on. Lots of lots of going on. Um, okay, so. You guys were on your way to the pit. Yes. So, I think I've hidden everything I needed to. Uh, so, with further ado, let's get you guys to the pit. Where we get to figure out what the heck we are to do. So, do, do, do. Head over to our battle map. So, you guys have arrived down here. The only way you can really get uh, this cart in safely. So, you guys have made it in on this cart here. Yay. Um, so, you've made it up here. You know, you've got you've got it set. And you have a plan to make it down this ramp where you can kind of figure out where to go from there. Um, you two on the cart full of TNT. Where exactly are y'all going, uh, going to try to go? Of course, down the ramp, but how do y'all want to do this? Is it, you can see the current patrols. You have one. You have a patrol kind of like walking up the ramp. You see the two, you know, the the watchmen kind of sitting out. Yeah. Um. I think they make out. our way down at like a normal pace. Like at a slow but steady pace. And. I mean, we do have the upper half of the guard uniform. So. Mm -hmm. We look yeah, like potentially nice. just follow the path that we're supposed to take and then go around the back and then okay. unload the cart from there. So, we're going to take you guys down. You're going to go down and then you kind of meet up with the thugs who are kind of making their way up and one of, uh, one of them ends up stopping and goes, uh, and goes, hey, 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 excuse me. Um, this is the TNT cart. Yep. Wow, that's that's kind of that's kind of strange. Um, we weren't expecting that for like what three hours, something like that. Wow, y'all are early for once. That's kind of crazy. And geez, what happened to the security details? There's only three of you. Yeah, we got attacked on the way here, so that's why we're early. Oh, I yeah, I, see. I had to get it out of there. Well, that's a uh, it's kind of odd. Well, if you got attacked, it's weird that the uh, the captain didn't bring any more. Usually, he'd probably send a couple extra. Um. Oh, he offered to, but we thought since we were already in town, we just um, we'll be fine. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, that's uh. That's kind of weird. Well, uh, park park at the bottom of the ramp, and uh, you know, call it to one of the guys up top. They'll they'll get some people out to to unload it. All right, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, you two, you know, you two, uh, you know, be careful with that stuff. It's uh, I don't know if you know, but it's deadly. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where? One bump, one bump, and. About half of it, one bump of about half the rocks over here is going to come crashing down on us. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll be careful. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Good luck. And then they kind of let you pass where y'all end up. 
making your way right past them down barely able to shimmy the wagon through and you get down all, all the way to the bottom essentially can we is there any way we can finagle the cart behind behind what? there in through under the bridge right okay. there okay uh so the cart itself um you can fit just under the bridge and come over here but it's gonna have That's to far as we yeah go. it can stop pretty much right here so actually i could i probably need to resize this a bit yeah I was about to say, that is a massive cart. <laughs> yeah, probably need to resize it a bit. Uh, yeah, that, that looks much better. So, um... Amazing, good set. But uh, since Cat looks over to Morgoth, like, so how do you want to do this? Are we going to oh. blow up the entrance, or are we going to light one? Uh, I figured we would load it up around the entrance and then blow it. think we'll be precise enough to Oh well, what we're supposed to do is blow a hole in the entrance closing off the main entrance to the guards and then Well it's Well a secondary entrance, here. right? It's if we feel like we're gonna be precise enough to blow a second hole without crushing everyone. Do you make a point? Um What do you think? What do you think is our best option here? I'm just watching the cart widen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to size it somewhat decently. It became yeah. thick. But no. It uh, became thickums. This is like... I... I say we light one and just have it explode away from us. Just set off a trigger for the, for the, the other people to start fire. Yeah. That's fine. Then while they're being ambushed, then we can load more TNT around the around the entryway. Blow that. Uh, human, uh, what do you think we should do? I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just... This is, he's like, this is y'all's plan, okay? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't, we... I wasn't there for the discussion of the plan, really. All I know is we were supposed to bring the TNT down here, and then I'm, I'm pretty much supposed to follow your orders. Well, on one hand, we can blow it up, like, blow one up now, so everyone will attack. Or on the other hand, we can try to bring it up to the entrance of the mine, blow blow up the entrance of the mine, closing it. Well, and then when we defeat everyone, blow up the second entrance, that so that we can get into the mine, and then blow up another entrance so we can actually get from that cave into the mine. Without crushing everyone and killing everyone. I understood about none of that, so just tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. Seeing as this ladder is more complicated, I, I'm i leaning towards we should just blow one up. Oh, yes, that, that's the plan. We're going to blow one up and then we leave that'll the trigger the attack and while they're we leave the entrance undamaged so we don't have to blow a hole into a separate cave and try to get into the mines that way because that then we'd have more people to deal with yes but i feel like that's a price to pay for literally crushing everyone inside the mine what can i say to make an omelet you gotta break a few eggs sometimes <laughs> No, but um, I still think we need to close off the exit for guards just because I don't want to deal with, what, potentially 15, 20 more people? Probably not that much, but who knows how many people are down there. So um, 
Okay. Human. Would you do the honors of taking the TNT up to the entrance? Taking a stick of TNT up to the entrance and lighting it? Um, I can... Not one, not one stick of TNT. We need more than one. I, I well, can I'm... certainly try, but, uh... I mean, isn't it going to be a little suspicious if I'm just carrying TNT up to the entrance? Yeah, that's why... No, Vanessa, here, why don't you take a thing of TNT and go like, set it off somewhere so it can start the attack while they're distracted? Me and the and our human friend over here will take as much TNT as we can carry and pack it around the entrance. And we'll yeah, blow the entrance that. ceiling off to guards. Keep them we, have, we still have to have enough to blast two holes. I know, that's what I'm saying. We have three-fourths of a cartload of TNT. I'm talking about a handful of sticks. Okay. Vanessa then grabs one of the uh, TNT sticks and hops off the cart. Now we wait for the explosion. Okay. She's gonna go over by uh, where the ramp, like, kind of, like, not fully ends, but she's gonna go closer to where the ramp is. Enough where she's still kind of, like, hidden from everything. From the top people. I probably should have told you where to get. Like, gave a suggestion about where to get. Which ramp are you talking about? The one we the just went down The from. entrance ramp? Yeah. Where people can see you? <laughs> That's where she's going to stick close to the wall. Okay. You know what? I'll let Vanessa do what she's going to do. Cool. Uh, so you're going to stick close... Uh, uh, so the inner wall, right? Yeah, that wall. Okay, So and you're going to head this way. Yeah. And then she's going to light a TNT and then throw it in front of her. And throw then it. back uh, In front of her, so like here? In the more open area, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're going to light it. Throw it over there. Shoot, mad lab. Okay. Um... Do, do, do. Shoot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to put a few things up. So. Give me a sec. There was a few things I didn't take into account here. Uh. That's a little big. Okay, so do do do. Where in the heck? Yeah, give me a sec. I'm trying to get the stuff together. Okay. So, it seems you uh, you have launched. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much your objective, uh, the red thing, uh, or I, I guess this is the mine entrance and its stable, uh, its stabilization. 
Every time you set off TNT, you're going to notice it go down. Uh, Vanessa, since you threw it out, I need you to roll me... Uh, you threw one stick, right? Yeah, just one. Okay, I need you to roll me a D4. Ooh. Maybe more guys should not blow up the entrance. <clears throat> I got a one. Let's see. You got a one. Okay, so... Uh, if you notice, it's very minuscule, but you'll notice that it took a tad bit of damage there. It took, basically, that took one hit point of damage from the shake, or the, basically, the impact of the TNT. Even though I didn't hit it directly, it was still close enough to impact it. Um, we are also so, going to have... So, the entire mine? Or... Uh, the entrance to the mine. Okay. You don't know about the entire mine. You just know about the entrance. Okay. That is until the entrance collapses. Okay. Um, back here, this uh, this health here is going to display the amount of TNT you have in the cart. So every All time you right. take a bundle out, stuff like that. Vanessa, how many did you grab before? Literally just the one. Just the one. Okay. So always for everyone. Uh, this this is a very interesting concept. I like it. Okay, so, um, so this <laughs> so wait, yeah, this is the amount of TNT uh that is in there. The there are so at the start there were thirty sticks of dynamite. There are now twenty nine because Vanessa took one out. This is how we'll keep track of it for the for the most part. I can right click and just tell you how much if you really want to know the exact amount, but that's just so you guys can see how much uh, TNT is in the cart and uh, well, that. Yeah. So now that I've got that out of the way, time for stuff. So that exploded, Vanessa. I need you to roll me a stealth check. A 18. 18. Okay, cool. So you were able to throw it and distracted them. Uh, makes this one run over here. Uh, he runs over. They kind of look. And, uh, you know, basically, you throw the stick of dynamite. It goes out. Explodes. Boom. And then we move on to group two and see what happens. So... Um, okay, so basically, uh, let's tune back a little bit, so, let's tune back just a moment to, um, let's tune back a moment to, uh, Arilo, uh, in the Fletcher shop. Uh, Arilo, where exactly are you in the Fletcher shop? Are you upstairs, downstairs, in the training room? Where are you? I'm in the training room. Cleaning Betsy. Okay, so you're in the you're in the training room cleaning Betsy. You see a couple people in there, kind of like you know getting a little prepped for you know the upcoming fight. Um, you see the Fletcher also downstairs, kind of like trying to uh, kind of refit strings on a bow. And you're sitting in there, and uh, you see the little the door leading out basically swing open really fast, pretty much slamming into the wall. And you see, uh, you see a human kind of, uh, you see a human there, you know, just go, huh, 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 huh. Whew. sir, the carts, the carts arrived, it's in town. What's that, uh, the, the, the carts here? Y yeah, yes, the, 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 the cart... The cart is here, and it's making its way to the pit. And uh, if I if I'm correct, I saw I I saw uh, our friends on the back of it. Well, that, that's that's great. I don't I don't know how they got inside very very much, but good for them. Um, yes, uh, Gol Goliath friend, yes. Um, are are you are you ready to head out? I just need to put Betsy. 
a back together real quick, and I'll be out in a few minutes. So. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll get everyone upstairs, and as soon as you're ready, head outside, and uh, we'll uh, head outside, and we'll make our way to uh, to get in position. Okay. After I quickly put Betsy back together, double checking if I have everything in the right place, I head upstairs. So. Yep. So you head upstairs and you see everybody pretty much uh, kind of gathered in front of the shop itself. Um, they're all gathered in front of the shop, pretty much next to your uh, next to your uh, wagon there, uh, next to your cart. And uh, he goes, "Well, um." Whew, this is uh this is this is time. It's it's wow. Um Man, this is this is gonna This is gonna be exciting. Wow, I've never done anything like this before. Well, um I guess uh good luck. You too. Okay. Well, let's uh let's head over to the pit and let's uh let's get in position. Yep. And okay. Yep. And with that, you head back to you head back to the pit. Where we are going to uh get this together. So, you um, so the cart has not arrived yet. Um, need to do all of this. Okay, so based on the plans you know, you know for a fact that the cart is going to be coming in from this side here. Uh, let me see if I can do a free draw. So you know that the cart is coming in through this side here and is going to go down and go somewhere down in this area, essentially. Just somewhere down there. It is then going to unload dynamite and get it to pretty much this entrance to blow it up. Or to blow TNT up near that place. That is what you know. Y'all, uh, you ended up talking about, uh, you ended up talking about a plan, in, you know, you ended up talking about, a, uh, like, two, basically two ways to cover. You can f basically use this more secluded path to help, you know, stay in cover. Um, you could stay in cover and you can pretty much just, uh, use it to maneuver a lot easier. But then there's also this other path that you know that would be on the back side, basically on the flank from where the cart's coming in. And you could come through here, but it is very open. Um, you kind of arrived there. Uh, you know, all of you were kind of set up, set up to the side. Um, and uh, you see, you know, you see the Fletcher kind of talk to uh, a couple of, you know, the people on the side. Um, and he walks over to you, Arilo, and he goes... Okay, so I've counted the troops for this uh, between some of the scouts that wants to join and uh, and you know the troops that were that we've mustered up. Um, we do uh, we do in fact uh, we do in fact have ourselves a, a few people that are able to do this. Um, so the first squad, uh, myself included, of Eric Cockras, these are going to be our, uh, these are our bow squad. This is the bow squad. We have, f uh, four people. We've got four, uh, Aarakocras available to do that. Um, one of the Aarakocras will be joining, uh, three humans into joining in the spear squad. So okay. we have, we have ourselves, uh, a bow squad and then a spear squad. And then of course you have yourself and then we have uh, the one Aarakocra using the Warhammer and the one human using a short sword and a shield. So... Okay. Uh, I, 
I'm not entirely I'm not entirely a master of tactics or anything, so I am going to leave this up to you. You are the captain of you are the captain of the troops. Whatever wherever you say that they need to set up and prepare for is where we are going to set up for the attack. Our Rick signal, that. the last time that we spoke, our signal is as soon as we hear an explosion, as soon as we hear one stick of dynamite go off, we are to commence the operation. So, with that being said, where do you plan on sticking people? Okay. I'm guessing I'm wanting to take the war hammer and short sword with me. And Okay. And where and where are y'all gonna go? We're gonna to try to uh, use those oil, barrels of oil for something of Yes, that there were the bar yeah, there are the oh yeah, I should probably put something over there for that. There are the ba the barrels of oil uh sitting over here. I completely dude, I'm so glad you said that. I completely forgot about it. If we manage the uh, use of, we can close off one entrance entrance point that could be used as reinforcement to spot to Sorry, I stumbled on my words there, but but yeah, the we'll use that oil to try to burn that spot. So. Okay, okay. Um, yes, I see. We can we can definitely use that stuff. So you have those three, okay. But now you still have eight more troops where you could put. Yep. You've got you've got four longbowmen and four spearmen. Okay. So as soon as the explosion goes off, the spearmen will try to assist our guys down there in melee, while the actor cockras the, the, yes, fly the up and try, to, try to fly up and take out those two, and then take that high ground to cover to uh, use as the cover. high ground. Where exactly? The uh, tower. The uh, towering stone column in the middle though. in the middle okay so they so they are to take out these two troops right here on the side and then move into the tower here or are you talking about taking off or taking the two on the roof and then taking that immediately yep okay and so, if they see any reinforcements one of them should go down and tell us so okay okay so the spearmen the, the, the four spearmen, there to assist on melee. What side are they going to come in from? Are they coming in on your side, or are they going down the main ramp? They're going down the uh, main ramp. Uh -oh. Okay. So, um, just to make sure that we are on... Uh, to make sure we are on board. The spearmen... So, the spearmen will start on the main ramp. this position yep the archers uh, are to set up nearby so that they can f base so they can fly they are going to fly and attempt to take the high ground in the center yeah this going meanwhile you with the warhammer and the short sword human you three are going to try to attempt to rush the oil barrels in order to start a fire over there yep okay seems simple enough Do you have any so, final recommendations? Of uh, not exactly. Um, so I'm just gonna finalize this mostly, just kind of to draw it out to make sure we're on the same page. So, um, 
So as soon as the as soon as the explosion goes off, these spearmen are to run down, take these thugs, and use the cover to make their way all the way down to wherever our tr our TNT card is, and assist them in melee. While the archers are to fly over and attack this high ground. And meanwhile, while they do that, you are going to rush for the barrels, light it on fire, and basically cause a blaze in this huge area as a distraction. Correct. Okay. After um, you set that blaze, what do you plan on doing? Just joining them in melee? Yep. Going to use the ramp on the top part and head on down. Okay. Uh, well, seems simple enough. That is the plan, then. And with that, we get to the fun part. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's gonna be this is now the part of the rock ball and everyone dies is like a valid thing. It actually is a valid thing, yes. <laughs> Which is why I didn't want to blow up the fucking entrance. Well, there's his F bomb of the stream. Orgoth is still going to blow up the engine. <laughs> okay, so Vanessa um goes off, throws the stick of dynamite, and then sneaks away. Vanessa, uh where exactly do you want to start? Because you have the choice. You have enough time to run before the dynamite stick actually goes off. Uh That's a good question. I mean... Zoom out real quick. Uh, Can you please zoom out, Johnny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. G give me a sec. Um... I'm ensuring I have stuff... Uh, Wait, no, that's not what's supposed to happen. Okay, so zoom out. Uh, okay. So that Vanessa can be much help, uh, I'm going to say that little gap in between like the bridges that I can see, like next to the cart. So right here, pretty much? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Moragoth, you've had time to, to kind of like do your thing. What do you want to do? Um, uh, I guess we're gonna grab our handfuls of TNT and set them up near the entrance while this all happens. Okay, so you and the other guard, you and the other guards gonna do that, right? Yeah, me and the other, the human's gonna do that. Yeah, the human. Okay, so um Okay, so you two are gonna grab TNT uh just so you know uh if you know for the sake of craziness um you can carry uh, you can carry three sticks of TNT in one hand if you use okay. if okay i will let you carry three in one hand um so uh but that you know means of course you can't use that second hand unless you drop them well, um, my only weapon is a two-handed weapon anyway, so I was just playing. Okay, on if if you yeah, if you're carry yeah, if you're carrying uh, if you're just carrying it like full arms, I'll let you carry up to ten, but you'll have but you're like you're just gonna have disadvantage on like everything, and everything will have advantage on you if you carry ah. the ten. Other words, you can carry like the six essentially. I'll carry. If I carry any more than six, it would be a disadvantage. Yeah. I'll just carry the six. So we don't. Okay. We probably don't need more than like twelve anyway. But we'll see. Okay. 
So you want him to also do that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, yep, yeah, you will be down to 17 in there. So, uh, you've got 12 sticks. And it is time to get this started. So, without further ado, Operation... Wait, what, what, what should we call this? I, I guess Operation... Uh, slumber Party? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke of, like, uh, child slavery, since we're freeing, like, slavery and all that. Oh, my God. <laughs> no! No! That's... That's... Uh, come that's on! Too much. That's <laughs> way too, too far! far. Why don't we do? Why don't we call it Operation Freedom Reigns or something? I don't know. Freedom Reigns. Freedom Reigns. Is that what we're doing? Yep. Yeah. I mean, hey, we could, do, we... we could do Abraham Lincoln, but I, I don't think he exists. Yeah, we're not that far in the timeline no, yet. No, um, not that far in the timeline yet, buddy. Um, yeah, Freedom Reigns. Okay. So, with the further ado, Operation Freedom Reigns is a go. And with that, please, everybody. Roll me initiative. For some reason, I'm just imagining like a giant wearing a top hat, like green. Ah, uh, damn it! I forgot the speech. But yeah, basically, just a giant wearing a top hat, being Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I got a funny. five. I got a twelve. <laughs> I got a twelve. Okay. See, why why didn't you say that earlier, Alex? Nineteen. No. <laughs> oh, oh, Alex's thing. Hey, did you see him in the kitchen? Yeah, Operation Kaboom. All right. Why is the I am the wind? Yeah. Oh man. It's a cold wind blowing. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Okay, so. We are the storm approaching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Operation okay. Freedom Reigns has started. So here we go. So. It is time for this to get in here. So, uh, of course, you know, to start this off, the TNT exploded over on this other side. Uh, pretty much right here. Kind of shook the entire place and got the attention, uh, of you know, all of these guys. So this one runs over here, and uh, he does that. He co he comes over. He doesn't you know he doesn't see anything really, but they see that uh, a bunch of rocks have been pretty much been blown up to the side here, and uh, they're kind of looking around. These two kind of freak out a little bit. And then start making their way down. Um, they like quickly run down as fast as they can. As soon as they hear that, yes, quickly run down as the one guy's just facing the other direction. <laughs> Look, man. Okay, I can't. I, I He's know. Running I'm running backwards. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just saying that it's funny that he's running backwards. Look, man, it's I, a I, lot harder to do this than you think. I know. I, I, I <laughs> should know. I, I've done this and found you too. Okay, so both of them run over there, and then, of course, these guys freak out, and uh, they just kind of, you know, they kind of make their way around. All right, well, this is good news for me. Yep. And as that happens, you also see these guys freak out. You said it was good news for you. Oh, boy. I was about to say, yeah, it might be a little bit less good news for me. Because 
now see. those two can see me. Great. Yep. So All they right. come. They they come. Oh, and they great. Just, yeah, they can pray. Yeah, they come over they and can they. See me. Yeah. So they come over. They look over and they can see. Uh, they can just see Morgoth and Vanessa. And you hear one of them like quickly yell uh, yell out, and it's just like, um, uh, like one of them yells out, "Wait, it's the TNT cart!" And who are they? And with that. You kind of assume you've been made. Yeah. So, with even that, though we're wearing the top half, we've been headed. We've been had. So, with that, run like the wind, injured human. <laughs> so, with that, we move on to Arilo, who is starting the plan. Arilo, what do you do? Okay. start heading down the stairs and grab a barrel of oil. Okay. So you quickly rush into the scene. You go down the stairs 30 feet and you grab a barrel of oil. Yep. Okay. America. So you lug that barrel of oil. Where are you going with it? <laughs> I'm glad somebody heard that. So, so what, what you what you going to do now that you got the oil? I guess I start heading back up the stairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like uh, I like but broke waffles with that too. <laughs> okay. So, uh you're going to use so you're going to use your dash action to run up the stairs? Yeah. Okay, so so you so you run up top of the stairs. You got you got your handy du- handy dandy barrel of oil with you. Um, a barrel. Of oil. Okay. What, what now? You do. Uh, you two grab a. Try to grab like a barrel each. If you can't grab a barrel by yourself, just grab one together and follow me. You. The human just kind of looks at you and it's just like. <laughs> Oh, come on, I, I can of course carry myself a barrel of oil. Now this pip squeak, I'm not entirely sure. And then you see, you see the Eric Hocker there, kind of like, you know, donning a warhammer, just goes. I, I, I'll see what I can do. You know what? Don't worry, you can cover us. So. Uh, okay. I yes, I, I, I can cover you. And with that, this other guy grabs it. He drags the. You know, he, he runs up the stairs real quick with it. And uh, basically, both of you are chilling there with a barrel of oil each. Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Morgoth! Okay, so now that it is actually my turn, I'm going to make the joke. It's... It'd be funny if the human called a pip squeak, but he was just like buff as shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's wielding the warhammer. <laughs> um, I just pretty much go, uh oh, we've been had. Human, come on, we must go. Vanessa, right. get the half things out of the cart. Vanessa just quickly notes. And then I take a dash action and move as far as I can up to the. Uh, where the entrance is so just down and over i guess okay 20 that's two, two, 40. so that's all 60 feet there and i guess that's where i'm gonna end my turn cool um now we move on to the friendly's turn where the fun happens so immediately um, so Morgoth, uh, Vanessa, both of you and, uh, actually, uh, both of you and Orilo, all three of you ba- basically, uh, you hear like a, like a, like an echo, like basically the echo of like, a, what sounds like a bunch of like hawks, essentially just like, Kah! as like, as you hear a bunch of them, like 
basically flying in. Um, all of them, you know, flying in the air. Come up pretty much in a line. Make their way. Yep, they make their way, and all of them are going to take shots. Two uh, shooting at the first, uh, the the top one. Two shooting at the the bottom one. Let's see. Okay, so um, the the top one gets hit once. Four. A two. <laughs> Bless for you. a sneeze of damage. Nice. Yeah. So the top one gets hit, and then the bottom one here is going to get shot at, um, in which they are going to deal also a sneeze of damage. Great. Fun. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, man. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay, it's a little more than a sneeze of damage. But it's basically both of them... It, out of the, the barrage, uh, two two of the shots hit. So it was, an, it was a certified ouchie of damage. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, all of them are basically flying there, and they're just pelting arrows at them. Uh, meanwhile, the spearmen kind of run down and... They start to notice that the guards on the ramp are no longer there. So they do what any great person would do in the situation. And they improvise. So you start seeing them essentially run up the bridge. Yes, I know. They're geniuses. I taught them well. Yep. So, they end up essentially running over this bridge. Going straight. For something. I don't know. They'll, we'll figure it out at some point. And with that, we move on to Vanessa. Yay. Uh, <clears throat> Vanessa is going to move over to the cart. One second, I gotta... I, I, forgot, oh, no to, I forgot to move this guy. Okay, so... Move, move it over to the cart. And... She's going to... Try to get the two halflings out of the TNT. Yep. So you start helping them out. You hear another thud again. It's just, ah, gosh dang it. Man, a little warning would have been, oh, I can uh, hear a few things. Oh, has has the thing started? Yes. Well, what are we standing here for? Let's go. Okay, I that's 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 fine, but like don't get a and you just see him you you just see the other guy kind of hop out and he just goes sprinting in the direction where the explosion was, just full on sprinting away before anyone could say anything to stop him. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to go help him. I'm 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 so sorry about him. No, you're fine. It's oh gosh. Go help him. Make yeah. sure you don't... And you just see him pretty much climb out the back and then make his way to go help his brother. Okay. And with that Go back to the enemy's turn. Where they're going to start realizing stuff is up. So. Uh, of course, the two up here are going to shoot. First one's going to shoot at this top one here. And that is a hit. Which one's the shopkeep? Uh, he's the bottom one. Ah. Uh. 
Uh, here. There you go. Yeah. Um, okay, but they're shooting at the top one. Uh, they're going to hit that. Dealing... Seven damage. Am I really going to need a calculator for simple math? My brain's just not having it right now. See, that's me all the time, though, so... Johnny, sometimes I need a calculator to, to like make sure of myself when I'm doing math. Like I'll do, I'll be doing like, I don't know, like five plus seven, and I'll like, I'll go like look over a calculator, put it in the calculator, and be like, okay, yeah, it is. Okay. So top one sh shoots at that one. The set, uh, the bottom one is gonna shoot at like this third one here. Um. And that is going to be a miss. Um, these two guys here run out. He pulls out a crossbow, and both of them are going to fire uh, at it. The first guy is going to shoot at the Fletcher. That is going to be a hit. Fletcher, no. For 10 damage. The second one's going to shoot at the guy right above him. And it's going to miss on that. Uh, then we're going to have these two run up. They're both going to see Vanessa. And they're both going to fire at Vanessa. Uh, first one is... Uh, that is an 18. That's definitely a hit. Uh, dealing four piercing, and the second guy is going to get a nine, which is a miss. And then these two guys going to kind of run around. So both of them are going to run around, and then they are going to see Vanessa. And then both of them are going to pull out their crossbows and take old, take old shots. Um, but they're going to... That would be that. And then... Yeah. Okay. So they're both going to take shots as well. Uh, first one is a miss. Second one's a miss. Do, do, do. Um... And that is all she wrote onto a Rilo. Rilo, you've got a barrel. What do you want to do with said barrel? Okay. I start. Uh, can you zoom out a bit, please? Okay. I start heading back down those stairs. Okay. So, gonna go down the stairs. Now I take, then I go further down the stairs. So. Okay. That's your 30. Do you want to do dash? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let us go all the way to the uh, bottom of the pit. So. Okay. So, you can do that. That'd be 30 there. Okay. So, you're basically on the bottom stair there. Okay. And you still got your barrel. Yep. I yell back. Come on, slow pokes. Uh, we don't want to miss the fight. Uh. Oh, don't you worry. I'm not going to let you get that far ahead. Yeah, it's that's the, 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 yeah, 
That's the end of my turn. Okay, cool. Uh, Morogoth! Alright, so I'm gonna continue going up to the entrance. How, yeah, how far is that? Okay, this is 30 feet. Alright, I guess I'm gonna use another dash action, just run all the way up to the entrance. I'll run as far as I can up to the entrance. Yep. Is that as far as I can go? Yep. Okay. Then, uh, I guess I'm gonna have my turn there. Okay. Cool. Um, this guy is going to follow, of course. Nice. And, yep. And with that, these others are going to basically make their way, um, across this one kind of uh this one kind of meets up and he's like uh he, he's like hi uh, is, is there anything i can help you uh, uh, help you with oh what to us uh yeah yeah I... yeah i'll just go here take this tnt and set it near the entrance for me uh of course since i, I he can move and i can't Yeah. Okay. So you quickly hand it off to him, and then uh, you see him like run over here and uh, essentially just drop the TNT. Did he put it like set it out in front of the entrance to where it would possibly blow up the hole, or is it like not close enough? I mean, it's it's somewhere. It's it's around it. Okay. Right, he doesn't know the exact it. place where to put it, so he just put it some like around the entrance. Yeah, I kind of like. Can I still tell him to do something? Or... Just be like, can you place it like strategically around the entrance so I can? No, nah, he he can't do all that. He's already can't used do all, all that. Actions, no. Fair enough. Okay. So he's already used all right. everything. Then I guess that's it. Yep. Um. Yep. So they they do all that. Um. We should get rid of this. <sighs> of course, this one is running down here. Um, he's gonna use. He's gonna use uh, his. Let's see. Yep, he's gonna use his dash action to run up to this guy. And then he is going to activate his action surge to attack this thug. Let's see. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. He missed. Cool thing. He's got another attack. He also missed that. Wow, that was that was anticlimactic on that one. Um, cool. Well, shiz. Yeah, well, shiz. Well, uh, and then of course you have. His brother that comes in running behind him, and he just kind of like pulls out his weapon ready to attack. Uh, and then these Rilo Squadron gonna make their way down. And the air cockers are gonna shoot real quick. So the top two at the top one here. Uh, okay, first one here is gonna be do. Uh, oh, that's a hit. There it is. Okay, they're gonna be dealing three piercing. The second shot is miss let's see 
and then the bottom ones. Uh, miss and uh, hit for six damage. Cool. And with that, move on to Vanessa. Okay. Seeing that she's getting arrows shot at her, she's going to move away from the people firing the arrows at her. So, where more so, went. Yep. Yeah, okay. So down here? Yeah. Uh, that's 10 feet. How far do you want to go? Uh... Just around the corner. So, there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. If I aim my crossbow up, can I fire at them from around the corner? Like, um, actually shooting around the corner and doing it? Um. It's a very weird angle, but yeah. I'd say you'd be able to. Okay, then I would like to. Okay. Uh, so which one are you shooting at? Left or right? Left. Okay. And the hit is a 14. That is a hit. Dealing 7 damage. Okay. Get a nice hefty shot good. for 7 damage. Yeah, and then I'll let them my turn. Okay. Well, with that, of course, both of them are going to uh, shoot at you. So, first one is going to be a 19. That hits. Uh, uh, by the way, you are behind cover, so that uh, that is... That's three quarters, so that's a plus three to your AC. Oh, okay. Uh, does a 19 still hit with a plus three to yeah, your AC? Yeah, because I took off my shield to use my crossbow. Mm, yeah, okay. Cool. Um, since that's the case, uh, first shot's going to do two piercing damage. Second shot goes out. Um, this one is a 21, so that is a hit. Uh, dealing seven piercing damage. Okay. Okay. And with that, um, these thugs kind of go to chase, and then they notice off to the side. So this one uh, kind of like swaps his weapons real quick and runs as far as he can with his dash. And then another 30. This one kind of just follows behind and was like, you know what? They got that over there. So he will also run over here. Two thugs up top is going to shoot the air cockras. First one is a miss. The second one is also a miss. Uh, and then there's these guys down here. Who are going to swing at him. Oh, gosh. That's a lot. Okay, so uh, this one's going to swing his mace at him as a miss. Swings again. Uh, that one is a hit. Seven bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Yeah, that is an ouch. The second one is going to start swinging. He misses the first swing, and the second one 
hurts. Uh, let's just say that. That's going to be 13 bludgeoning damage. Dang, that's an unlucky number. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. So... Uh, they do that. And then we move on back to Orylo. Okay. I continue sprinting. Continue sprinting. Okay. So you're sprinting, you know, around. Uh, so... You go 30 feet, essentially, uh, to there. What do you do now? Can you uh, zoom out a bit? Yep. Okay. I start heading the uh, down direction. Okay. Use the uh, stairs. Up. Wait. Down direction. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, the down direction where those stairs are. So where I was, so where I put you? Or do you yeah. mean taking this ladder down, right here? I'm taking the stairs down. No. The, the ladder right here. Is that? Yep. Are you trying to? Are you trying to go down here? Trying to take the stairs, so. So you're trying are, to so down on the battle map. Yeah. Okay, so here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this would be thirty feet right here. As you're trying to run across the bridge. Yes. Okay, so do you want to continue doing a dash to go down? Yes. Okay. So, you do that, and you drag your barrel with you. You're just running. Is that all? I like to use action surge. Oh. Okay. So, use action surge. What do you do now? I uh, take another 30 feet. Okay. So, we... so toward the rest of them. Yep. Okay. Another 30 feet to them. That's the end of my turn. Okay. More goth. Morgoth? I was muted! <laughs> Whoopsie! Um, let me see. Not much I can do in the way of anything right now. So, I don't want to waste these spell slots or anything. So... I think, am I within 15 feet of that? Of the entrance? I'm assuming, yeah. Um, the entrance, you... Uh, yeah, 15 feet. Okay, cool. I um, tell the guy in front of me of the entrance to get back. And then I cast a fire rune. You only do one of those per turn, right? Uh, yeah. So you're holding TNT in one hand and... No, I gave him all the TNT. Oh, okay, okay. 
And I gave him all of it to set up on the over there. Okay. So I'm gonna. Like I said, I'm just gonna command him to get back, and then I'll cast a fire ring to start off. And then that's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. Okay, so you tell him to do that, and then of course you know he he freaking he runs like he he base he basically just runs around the corner, gets over here, and you see all of these guys essentially move away. Uh, you know, pretty much having their spears ready though yeah. in this direction. So, um. Yeah, uh, then of course the guy behind you is just like, uh, so what What about my TNT? Place it over there before I blow this, before I blow this joint. Uh, okay, and he runs over, quickly tosses it down, and then you just see him just run out of the way. Also, right, you know, awesome. having his shield, you know, ready. Yeah. As he, uh, as he's basically gonna going to defensive maneuvers just in case. Yeah. Um, then there's this. So, uh, yeah, they make their dash stuff run down the halfling over here <laughs> is going to attack again. Let's see. Uh, he is going to, did you set a miss? Is that, that is, nope, that is a hit. So he's going to hit with his uh, amazing dagger because he's a mad lab like that. Dealing two piercing. Uh, I guess onto this one. He didn't really hit any of them last time. So he's going to hit that on the bottom one here. He's then going to swing again. That is a hit, dealing three. And then his brother is going to turn around and deal with the other two over here as he gets ready for a little bit of a, a fight. Oh, and then Eric Cocker shoot again. <laughs> uh, Why'd you make it so anticlimactic? <laughs> yeah, they shoot again. I, I say, I they fire a barrage of arrows at the two better. people at the top. Much better. Anyway. Um, let's see. Hit him, uh, hit him with the razzle dazzle. They hit him with the razzle dazzle. The first one is a hit. It deals five piercing damage. The second one is also a hit, dealing another six piercing damage. And then the two bottom are going to sh shoot, of course, at, at the bottom one here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, the first one's a miss, and the second one is a... Oh! Huh? Ah. It's a hit! Dealing two piercing damage! Boom. They do their stuff. And... Shkablango, on to Vanessa. So, how far away are the two people up there? Anyways. Uh, 45 feet. 45 feet? Cool! 
Uh, I'm gonna put my crossbow away. Okay. And put my shield back on. And then I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on, uh, on one of them. Which one? The left or the right one? Probably the left, since that's the one I attacked before. Okay. You're casting Sacred it. Flame. That's a dex. That's the cantrip, and it's a dexterity saving throw of thirteen. Let's see. Uh, that is. Um, uh, he fails. He fails. Cool. That is ten. Uh, what is that? Ten. And it's ten radiant damage, I believe. Yeah, ten radiant damage. Radiant. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, he takes ten damage. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'd like to end my turn there. Okay. Uh, yep. So with that, he gets angry and he shoots back along with his friend, once again shooting back at Vanessa. Let's see. So, uh, first one shoots... He gets a 12, which is miss. miss. The second one shoots, getting himself an 18. Which, with the plus three is a miss. Which Shut is me. a miss. Uh, okay, so the two up here uh, are going to do things. This first one, ooh, that's going to sting a bit. He gets a nat 20. On a nice shot on the uh, lucky top guy here. Oh, man. Good luck to him. And he is going to deal 18 piercing damage. That is a no-no. And by no-no, I mean this guy is dead. So he gets shot out of the sky. Essentially goes straight to the ground. Splats right next to the two thugs there. So, uh, as that happens, the other thug is going... So, this one's going to shoot at the third one. He also gets a, a nat 20. Okay. Man, I guess it's better than than you guys, but still. Uh, okay, that is going to be yeah. eight piercing damage. So, he shoots him. Gets, uh... No, wait a minute. That's ten piercing damage. Right? No, I'm reading this wrong. Oh, crap. I'm uh, yeah, I'm reading the wrong weapon. Uh, okay, that's eight piercing damage. Cool. That was right the first time. Uh, that would be... Yes. So, eight piercing damage. Gets a nice lucky shot on that. Crap, I put things wrong. It, this, there. Okay. And now that that's happened, these are going to move down. He comes over, and as soon as he moves in range, our good old friend is going to attempt to stab him. With... What weapon did he get? I gotta think about it. What weapon did he get? Huh. I see. That's what he was supposed to have. Okay, he has a spear. Cool. So he's going to attempt to stab him with this spear. Um. Let's see. Do, do, do. That swing is a hit, actually. Dealing three. Uh, I don't know. I don't really care. Okay, it's going to be three damage. And then he's going to swing again. And that one is going to be a miss. And then his friendo is going to roll up. 
Um, and now the two people are going to start swinging at him. So first one is a let's see mace with nine. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Okay, well time to start beating stuff up. So he goes in here, deals eight damage to this guy. I need to change his stuff. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, he goes, hits him with a bunch of stuff. Uh, deals eight damage. Uh, the next swing is nat 20. What the heck are these rolls, man? Oh okay. my god. I know, right? Dude, that's that's what I'm saying. Um goes in here. Okay, and that is three. I believe there's one more swing involved. And that's a miss. Cool. And so... I hope I didn't leave any out. Boom. Okay. So, as that happens, um, with, all, with all good things, we then, you know, of course, hearing all the commotion... We have two thugs run out, and they get right there just as we jump over to Arilo's turn. Okay. Do I see these two thugs pop out? Uh, you could, yeah, you could see the first one just a little bit. Okay. You don't have a, like, a, actually, can he? Because that would be... Uh, you could see this first one, yeah, but you could barely see him. Mm -hmm. I go up the stairs. Okay. I go upstairs. Okay, so you go upstairs. Uh, I assume still with your barrel. Uh, yep. Mm hmm I th throw my barrel at them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Give me, uh, gosh, uh, give me a strength check. Okay. Are you throwing a specific one or just trying to throw it in the middle of them? I throw it the middle of them. I got a nat 20. Oh gosh. Okay. So you throw it. I guess they give us and now they Take it away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, explain to, explain to me how this goes down, then. You throw the barrel at them. I throw it at them as hard as I can, trying to have the barrel just bust open and cover them in oil. Okay. That's exactly what happens. It busts open, okay. covers them in oil, and it even, like, knocks both of them back a, a, a foot or two. Okay. I shoot my the blunder bust at it so at at one of them. Does it ignite? So. Um. 
so you can throw that. Um, so you throw it and shoot. Gosh, okay. Um, I wouldn't see why not. So yeah, I guess when you shoot them, it ignites. Um, it ignites them and it also ignites the dynamite that's sitting right next to them. That Aralo had no idea about. I just wanted to see him burn. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it ignites the, uh, the dynamite. It's currently, you know, It's current. The fuse is currently going. You, yeah. Not even a. Oh, oh hi, Morgan. That, is that TNT over there? <laughs> TNT over there. Wait, did you just throw a thing of TNT, causing it to explode? Uh, he threw. What did I throw? An oil he, barrel. He threw oil over there and then shot the people covered in it right next to the dynamite. Which lit, which ignited them. Yeah. So yeah, the the TNT uh, is currently ignited. It's not exploded yet, but it's ignited. Oh, hi, Morgan. Is that TNT over there? <laughs> well, you see. Um. Well, is it my turn now, or is it still a Rilo's turn? It it is an end of my turn. Okay. Let me yeah, I'm checking something. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> well it's oh, a wow. good thing I'm setting up my next character <laughs> already. Well, I mean we did say explosion happened at Morgan <laughs> earlier. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, though my my new uh, character is prepared. Oh for yeah, okay, so it explodes instantly. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you shot them. They 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 ignite explode. stumble. They stumble like two inches back and ignites the dynamite. And before you know it, it explodes. Uh, Rilo, I need you to roll me. Uh, uh let's see. I need you to roll me 10d6. 10d6. Yes. <laughs> and uh, real quick, I need to roll a dexterity saving throw with two people already on fire. Okay, uh, 33. Jeez. Um. You know, that could have been a lot worse it Wow, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you're right. Oh gosh. Um, and now oh since God. you're the one who set it off, uh, I need you to now roll me, uh, twelve d fours. God. Twelve d fours. Yeah. So, uh, basically, when when that explodes, uh, both of these thugs who are burning, who are literally lit on fire just evaporate into nothing just <laughs> liquefy in front of you boof guts flying oh. everywhere they just they're gone they have they have just out of nowhere just poof i rolled 28 too uh okay 28 that could have been much worse okay more uh Justin, you realize it's the damage to the entrance, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's you blow up the entirety of the entrance. So yeah, uh you it basically basically it all it blows up um it, it blows up um causing a few rocks and everything to, to fall in the entrance and you see that it's like crumbling a bit. Um but Overall, it doesn't, you know, like, it doesn't collapse. Hmm. Could something oh, like... man. 
for a second. I thought we were going to fly out off the off the off this uh, platform. Yeah, I thought I was going to get blown back. No, actually, Dynamite has a very small range, apparently. Huh. That is, that is weird. Yeah. It somewhat makes sense, though, because Dynamite's not meant for, like, a wide range. Dynamite's meant for, like, a precision explosion. That is true, yeah. So. I think the movie's just kind of, like, beef it up a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, all right, well, I guess we're going to need more TNT. <laughs> yeah. Or do you think, like, a spell like Thunder Wave might shake it up enough to where it cause it to completely collapse? I mean, we're going to need more TNT anyway, but if we could spare some for the new entrance, that would be nice, too. Well, we're on to more, Gus, so whatever you want to do. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Can I, like... I really, I don't want to... It's not going to work. Look, I can't good. tell you if it's going to work or not, but what I can tell you is you can certainly try. All right, then. Dang, I've already used two first-level spell slots. Oh, God. Alright then, I'm gonna cast, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll cast Thunder Wave. Yeah, wait, what is the range of this? Hang on. I'm gonna move up to the entrance and cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Um, so you're gonna cast Thunder Wave pretty much on the entrance? Wait. I'm thinking about something. What about Thaumaturgy? So you're just, that, gonna, you're just gonna scream into a dark hole and it's just gonna I mean I don't know if it would nah never mind it would probably not cause enough damage I'll use that last but not least if it's still anything alright I'm gonna recast Thunder Wave at the second level in front of the thing it's a cube of 15 feet uh... okay yeah um So, okay, let me roll real quick. <laughs> yeah, you cast Thunder Wave. Roll the damage. Alrighty. 19 damage. Um. Bark, 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 bark. Um, yep, so you hit it. Um, you hit it, you see that it's... Uh, like, you, you see that it like it does something. Essentially, it... Uh, whoops, that was the wrong button. You, you basically cause the thing to shake. A couple beams fall over, and you see a couple rocks also fall. And you just see it where it's just barely standing. Like, rocks are going to collapse any second. Ah, uh, great. Um, I think you can shout it down now. Lou. Yeah, I mean, I get. Wait, is Thaumaturgy a bonus action now? Because I already used my. I mean, look, uh, hands are, I, I look at my character sheet and shies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Thaumaturgy is... I'm trying to see if I have any, like, bonus action spells that I can use. That's not Guiding Bolt. Uh... <laughs> can I just try to swing it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to... Yeah, if you want to try to swing at one of the beams, sure. Um... Let's see. Uh, Thunder Wave. Wait, Thunder Thunder Wave was like in action, right? Never mind. 
Okay. Never mind. You're right. All right. Yeah, I guess that's my turn then. So, moving on, uh, yep, so you do all that, uh, you then start to see, like, as all this is happening, you notice, um, from this little crevice next to, uh, where all these spearmen are standing, there's, a basically a little bit of water spewing out from the side of that. You said what, for who now? There's, there's a little bit of water, like, kind of, like, spewing out the side of, uh... Like, there's a water leak happening from right here. Right next oh. to all the spearmen, yeah. So, uh... Fun time. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so we move on. This guy here is going to swing. Uh, he misses. Oh, nat 20. So... Nice. Yeah, nice. So he's going to get a nat 20, and he is going to deal 6 damage. So he's going to stab him with a dagger a few times. Deal 6 damage. Uh, this one over here is going to... Let's see. Uh, he is going to attack this guy here. Uh, he is going to miss with the spear, and then he is going to use his bonus action to disengage. Go back here. And then prepare with a cool ability he's got. Uh oh, now we have all the air cocker shoot again. Here we go, air cocker one! Arrow barrage commence! First air cocker misses! The second one hits! Dealing for piercing damage. And then the Fletcher misses as well. Unfortunate on that part. And then we have these guys are going to run over here. They heard explosions go off. Yay. And as that happens, they get over here. And uh, this one here. This one finally brings this other barrel to Arilo. Uh, I I brought the barrel. I, sh I saw explosions go off over here. You okay? I'm fine. You should have looked at the other two. I, I, I mean, I, I did see a little bit of blood, so I assume that I no longer can look at the other two. Uh, but, but okay. And with that... Let's move to Vanessa. Okay. Seeing as she's probably going to get nowhere with these two, especially on her own, mm -hmm. she uh, she's going to move back to where uh, the mine entrance should be, to where Mora got ran off to. Okay. 30 feet. And then I'm going to use feline agility to move an extra 30 an extra 30. And just seeing around there, it's like, oh, glad you're not dead, Rilo. I'm glad you're not dead, too. And then, um... I'm gonna use... Can I still use... I, yeah, I can still use dash action, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use dash action to run up past Rilo. Uh... Yeah, good enough. Yeah. Technically, you can't, but uh, we'll fuck it. Just okay. imagining, like, Vanessa just, like, funny, like, 
running on top of our heads so they get over us. <laughs> so you run up, you get there. Is that all? I mean, that's all I can really do, right? Or unless I can talk a little bit more. Okay, moving on. So, um, as you get up to the, to the <laughs> top, you then hear, uh, you then hear a large crack and then you hear like, uh, what sounds like a piece of wood topple over. And then you notice that the shaft, uh, right in front of Morgoth just finally loses its last bit of health and just crumbles, basically sealing it shut. Damn. And with that, the battlefield kind of goes silent for a moment. And then, uh... You know, the, the, the thug, you know, all the thugs that are around, like, you know, everybody's got their weapons kind of ready, but the thugs are all kind of, like, looking at each other like, oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, then you just hear from the top of this cliff over here you just hear you hear like a, a loud clap essentially all of you look up and you see Ugg on his knees tied up and the other guy you let get away standing there with a uh, standing there right next to him or like right behind him just clapping along and, and, he, and you know he he starts clapping he's like ha ha uh, you really did show them a good time with that. Wow. Man. Makes me wish I got here a little sooner. Uh, but the jig is up. Look. I'm glad all of you gave me the chance to get away. I really do appreciate it. But unfortunately, I can't have you come in here and disrupt my mind practices. And with you just collapsing that entrance right there, it's going to take us days to get the people out. You realize you probably just killed everybody in here, in there. So look, I'll make you a deal. I'll let y'all go. Get all your stuff. And if you go, not have to worry about anything, I won't kill this bird. But, if you want to still cause issues, go on ahead. Watch me take this dagger as he presses it up against Ugg's throat. And just go on ahead and slit his throat right here and now. So, what do you say? We got ourselves uh. a deal. Who's that bird? But also just right, kind of like all those around. It's Ugg. It's Ugg. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, shit. Ugg is, since Ugg is here, I, can, I want to unmute now. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Johnny just wants blood this session. <laughs> Okay, if we pretend we don't know him, he might live. See, we're kind of past that point because we've already said that we know him at this point. Oh. Okay, yeah. look, I don't have all day for you to make your decisions. And you see him, you know, pull something out of his pocket and he goes, It's right here. This is a one minute hourglass. Yeah, I know. It's very weird how the names are. I'm going to flip this over on the ground. You got one minute to decide. You can walk out of here or he dies. Your one minute starts now. And you, just see, the, you just see the rest of them kind of like look over. And of course, the flesh is just like. Look, I don't really want to stop this for one person, but I mean, this is your friend. 
Whatever decision you make, I I'll I'll go with it. Just keep in mind there's a lot of people in there. Vanessa just kind of like uh, whispers to Morga, I can do sleep again if I get close enough. You can try it. I'll have to, get, we'll have to act like giving up first. This is weird, Vanessa, but how much do you weigh? You? Uh... <laughs> I, I really want to know what the hell is going to happen here. Uh, I'd, I'd say like 180 tops. Are, are you sure? Okay, y'all got to decide. It's time's up. Yes or no? You leaving? Uh, what, what's our decision? Are you... <laughs> can't talk so we can't we can't really talk as a group if he doesn't bring his input why don't you let him speak go oh my god Ugg doesn't talk so I guess I guess unconscious no uh actually like uh speaks up so how do we know you're not going to kill him once we walk away Well, that's a guarantee you won't have. Charlie, question, how far away is he? Uh, he is 40 feet from you. Okay. I would like to cast sleep at the ninth, le uh, sorry, third level, directly on him, since that is not uh, the range is ninety feet. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna try to cast sleep on him. Yes. Okay. Yeah, bring up all 98. And this will also put Ugg to sleep as well. 42. Oh, yeah. So it would take the 1 HP from Ugg, put him to sleep, and then the 41 would be for the, for the other guy. Uh, does, does 41 work? I gotta, I gotta figure out how the spell works. Uh... I'm pretty sure it matches health P HP. Yeah. You can choose with their hands are affected in ascending order of their current hit points, ignoring unconscious creatures. So if the creature has the lowest current hit point, each creature will be affected by the cell, falls asleep, the spell ends, the sleeper takes damage or someone uses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, subtract each creature's hit point from the total before moving on to the creature with the next lowest hit points. Creature hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total of the creature to be affected. So it'll be if he has 40, 41 or lower health, then he's asleep. But if he has more, then he's still awake. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, he is awake. You attempted to use that, and he is awake. Um, yeah. So you cast it. You put Ugg to sleep, and uh, uh, the guy kind of, like, freaks out a moment, and he's, uh, he, like, freaks out a moment. And then, like, he, he kind of, like, stops and goes, Oh, I see! Somebody tried using a spell. No, I I was putting my friend to sleep. I don't want him to be awake for this. Yeah, it's probably better that way. And you see him, you then see him take his dagger and he lunges it straight down at Ugg. And then 
Uh, and then out of nowhere, you hear, uh, like, you hear a loud, like, basically, uh, you hear, like, a loud, like, thud. And then, rising from behind him, as the guy falls over unconscious, you then see Marquise! Marquise! Yeah! Marquise. <laughs> Marquise. Oh. Woo! You see Marquise kind of like look over at the oh, knocked out guy yeah. with his cane in his hand and he goes, Well, it seems I've missed a whole lot here, but nonetheless, how are you, friends? Oh, are we glad to see you, friend? Do we we are so now? glad to see you. You showed up just in the nick of time. Ah, I see. Well, um, uh, I'm gonna assume by the scared faces of all, uh, of all the thugs around, this was, uh, their commander of the mine here. And, uh, well... Doesn't seem like uh, they're in any shape to fight. And you just see the other thugs just kind of like freak out and just start running away. <laughs> like each one of them just sprinting. Oh <laughs> like just making the, like you even see this one like hop down like a 10 foot cliff. Just, just running. They drop their weapons and just start sprinting away. Basically getting out of there. Allowing all of you to walk out scot free. For now. For now. <sighs> that was close. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. See, I didn't know Marquise was there, but I mean, Vanessa did stall for time. So, now that we have a clear, uh,. Clear everything basically. Yeah, Why don't we go ahead uh, and blow that new entrance? But yeah, Morgan, there's a problem with that. What? Vanessa points at the water that is still leaking through the hole. That's where a new entrance should be. Yes. A little mm. water never hurts anyone. We don't know how much of that cave is flooded, let alone. If we do blow a hole into the second cave. You then see, you know, your Warhammer Eric Cockerfin walk up and he goes, Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, oh gosh. Um, what? This is, this is a problem. I may have miscalculated a little bit. Um, th if that's where that is, then. Oh. What? What have you done? What have we done? Let's draw. So it seems like this is not an entrance to the side of it. This is... This is where a water geyser should be. A geyser? So then where is the other entrance? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, where is the... And then you just hear a loud BOOM! As you see pieces of wood from the cart just fly over you also see um like you you even like uh you even notice that like one, one of the horses like runs around the uh runs around the left side and the other one starts like uh like making its way uh up the ramp and uh you see the you see like the two thugs that were like chilling right above it um are you know like they're up on the cliff essentially like just starting to run away basically exploding the rest of it and causing a, basically a rock slide happening from their side, just collapsing the side of the, uh, collapsing like this, this side of the, the, the hill there. And as that happens, you then see like, uh, you then see like a huge hole kind of like, uh, behind a lot of the rubble, just kind of like appear like in the, the back of the cliff, essentially. Is that the entrance? Well, I mean... Maybe? Well... We should be I guess we better check it. We, be, we should try and be hasty about it. 
Well, apparently. real quick, did we lose anyone? Everyone made it right. I believe we lost. We lost one. Um. Maybe. Uh, it does seem that we uh we we did in fact lose one during that. Damn. Uh, let's make sure his sacrifice was not in vain. Uh, is Marquis still up on the cliff with the Ugg and the? Yeah, he's he's up there with Ugg. What else? We... Uh, shouts over. Hey, can you rake Ugg up, please? Um. Yes, uh, sure. Let me find a way to do that real quick. Just, just shake him awake. That should end the sleep spell. Uh, wait, he's under a sleep spell? Yeah, I was trying to get the guy that was holding holding him a captive. Uh, uh, uh okay, and he goes over and he starts, sh like, violently shaking Uggs. Excuse me, friend! Can you please wake up, friend? Uggs' eyes kind of, like, slowly open. He kind of, like, rubs the back of his head. Ah yes, good morning, your highness. It seems that we have uh we have special guests today. It's called a huge explosion that just blew up the side of a mountain. Uh, just kind of like looks around and then sees the like, like the, where the explosion was. Well, it's good to have you back, friend. Uh, just kind of gives a thumbs up. Okay, well, uh, he's awake. What do we do now? Here, you guys go on ahead to the mountainside. I'll meet up with you. I'm going to talk with our little commander here. <laughs> Vanessa, Who's he talking about? Too? Vanessa just kind of nods. It's like, okay, Marquise, we're regrouping. Um... Okay, that's understandable. Uh, I will. Uh, I will send Ugg down in just a moment. At this point, Ugg's just kind of like sitting down. Just kind of trying to catch his. Just kind of trying to figure out what all's happened. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, the hole in the mountain, of course, is what I kind of want to talk about. Wait, were you talking to me, Arilo? No, uh, I was talking to Morgoth. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to grant a promise I made to him. That's all I'm going to say. Then so I start walking up towards the commander. <laughs> yep. Walking up the hill. Yep, so you walk up and uh You may you you make your way up. Marquis kinda just standing there as well and um You you, you kinda like uh, like you, you walk up and you kind of see the commander kind of like lying there. Uh, you know, he's lying there knocked out, but you also notice that uh, in one of his hands, he's like, he's like clenching something. Um, you see him like, you see him like clenching something. It's something that's like partially hidden under his torso, but also clenched in his hand a bit. Um, his other hands also under his body as well. Um, and you see the dagger, of course, to the side. So you assume it's not yeah. the dagger. I'm gonna go to check and see what that is. So, 
Um, you go over. Uh, so you're going over to basically check his hands. Yeah, to check and see what he has, what okay. he's punching. So as you go and you flip the uh, as you flip the body over, uh, you then notice. Um, uh, you then notice uh, an, a little bit of a sizzling sound happening, and you see in oh, his man. you see in his hands is uh, a bundle of three dynamite sticks that have just been lit. Ooh. I go. I quickly go. Everyone move! As I like try to go and like shove both uh, Marquise and O'Reilly out of the way, like out of range of the explosion. You mean? Marquise and Ugg? You said O'Reilly. Marquise, uh, did I said O'Reilly? I meant Ugg. I'm sorry. I try to push both of them out of the way and, like, jump on top of the, uh... Up on top of the dynamite sticks to see if I can neutralize some of the explosion. The man really just pulled out a martyrdom. Uh -oh. Mark, oh, no. I mean, Mark, Mark. Ah, damn it. <laughs> you can say whatever you want to, buddy. <laughs> Mark, oh, no. So more got so so you're just hopping on it. Yeah, I, well, I tried to push them out of the way, and I'm hopping on it. Okay. Um. So you quickly, you know, push them out of the way. You hop on it, and then the TNT explodes. Uh, gosh. Hmm. Let's see. Johnny not expecting this. I kind of was. He, you were, you were definitely expecting this. Uh -huh. I was expecting this. I was like, he's gonna blow up this episode. I don't know. How, I don't know if he's gonna die or not, but he's gonna Johnny blow up. Blood, so he got blood. Yep. Yeah. So it is going to uh, explode, dealing. Uh. Let's see. Do do do. Yeah, I remember. So it's you he has to hit zero and then the same as his HP for it to be insta kill. I think it's like negative ten before oh, you die. I believe, okay, I screwed that part up. Oh, that's okay. He's trying his oh. best not to kill me right now. Oh no, it's not that. I just I didn't read this earlier, but apparently uh I thought so when you add more sticks of dynamite i thought it just increased the damage but i didn't see the part where it also increases the burst radius by five feet five feet for every stick of dynamite you use oh boy oh uh, it's a maximum of 20 feet so when when it when the entrance went off it was supposed to go for 20 feet and basically hit them oh yeah so basically you both are probably supposed to die um, okay. Well, thanks for not until now. <laughs> Alright, roll damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <sighs> be... so, but how does that work, though? Like, if for the insta kill thing? Or. I don't know. I thought insta kill was supposed to be like supposed to be your entire health points worth of damage and so, i'm not sure okay so um yep yeah. okay go so do what he's gonna do he goes in basically you hop on the dynamite uh it explodes pretty much under you of course it evaporates the other guy um yeah and it basically flings you in the air uh, it, it flings you up about five feet from like just the, the force itself. Um, the, everyone else is safe, but you take uh, twenty-two bludgeoning damage. Does that mean he lives? Yeah. 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 I'm still alive. Man, you what? took an explosion like a boss. So. Yeah, I still have twenty-four health points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm not just alive. I'm still pretty good, actually. Yeah. He, uh... yeah he's, he's honestly the best person to have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I mean, I have a 20 armor class scene. So, no, yeah. not, I'm saying you have the most HP out of all of us. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I do have the most HP. What you, what Another you reason why I did it. Reminds me of uh, Captain America. That's exactly why I did it. 
I was like, I'm going to Captain America this mug. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, you take the... Uh, Except this time it wasn't a dud. <laughs> yeah, you just take the bludgeoning damage. Wow, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> Johnny's I, thought, I thought that was going to do more. <laughs> I thought so too. I was kind of hoping. I thought I was dead. I I was kind of hoping either a death or like maybe like at least you know it, like I was hoping either I mean, a death or like, like a death door. Still, we still have time, right? <laughs> Gosh, I, don't, I mean I don't have to heal myself. I, we'll still have I, a whole cave to go to. It's probably I, gonna be, like I guess. something else gonna happen. We'll see. Vanessa assumed that Borga is not dead. She's gonna be like, okay, everyone, come here, please. <laughs> okay, everyone, before we get another panic attack. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be completely honest, because she was alone with two like archers. I was half tempted to make her like almost have a panic attack there. Gosh. Um, but I did it. Anyways, I don't like, mean to cool. rush all of you, but uh we did in fact collapse part of the mine here, so we should probably do something. Yeah. Uh, should we take the uh, our deceased friend with us, or should we just burn the body here, take the ashes? I I don't. What you can? Oh, well, actually, no. I'm not I, gonna, I I I will I I will get someone to deal with that. Uh, the rest of us need to head and decide very uh, very quickly. We we need to we need to go. We need to go get the people out. Because okay. I, I don't know how long the, the mines will last. The part of the plan was kind of to go quickly. Yeah. So let's Oh uh, uh, kind of like Dude with the uh with the sword and shield, uh hand me that barrel of oil. <laughs> uh yeah, d d d sure, here here you go. I'm not sure, but we might need it in the cave later. Uh and then like okay. like walk over to Morgeth and kind of like bows to him and then uh, uses cure wounds at the second level on him. Uh, that's oh. 13 health. Yeah. Hell yeah, thanks, man. Yep. Y'all did kind of like, like I you... bow back at him and just go, thank you, my friend. Yep. Uh, you then kind of hear like a loud crumble, you hear a couple rocks fall from the little entrance over there and then you see the Fletcher kind of freak out, but it's like, okay, if we're gonna go, we gotta go right now. Don't worry, let's go, let's run, let's go. Ugg starts like hanging over in that, uh, heading over as well, and uses uh, another cure wounds at the second level on himself. I like before I leave, I bend over and I like whisper where the captain's like mangled, evapor eviscerated body was, and I just go, "I told you I'd kill you personally." Let's walk away. <laughs> Trying to catch up. I hope you're running. Yeah, yeah, I'm sprinting. We're fucking running. Yeah, yeah I'm, right. I'm sprinting. So, yeah, you know what I meant. Yep. You'll end up making your way uh, to the hole in the wall, essentially, and uh, you, you know, of course, you see the Fletcher quickly make his way in, and you see the, uh, uh, you see the uh, the Warhammer. <sighs> The Warhammer Eric Cochran come with, with you guys. Uh, Y'all make it through, but just then, uh, like you, the rest of the rocks start collapsing behind you, basically trapping all of you inside. Oh crap! We're trapped. So who's all? Who all made it inside? Everyone or? Uh, you guys, the Fletcher, and then the uh, Eric Cochran Warhammer. Oh Where's man, it? there with <laughs> the Warhammer. Let's go. Yeah. My favorite one! Besides Ugg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's my favorite one. <laughs> They're kind of tied. Of <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, so y'all have made it inside. You're looking around, and... Uh, you don't see anything. You see where, like, people have been encamped, essentially, but you don't see anything inside. Vanessa's gonna do cure wounds on, uh, Ugg. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, question. Giving him 24. 
Oh, thank you. Uh, question, did anyone bring any of Ugg's stuff, or no? Uh, I, oh. I, I definitely went dead. Mm. We, we kind of forgot. It, oh my god, wait, didn't it explode with a cart? Oh. <laughs> it left on the TNT cart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hey, no, we left it on the previous TNT card, didn't we? No, no, we brought I it with I kind of assumed we just kind of kept it on us until... I mean, we can <sighs> assume that. We can assume that, that we just kept it. Final answer, we assumed we kept it. Just, I remember y'all saying y'all put it in the cart. I'm going to say y'all left it in the previous cart, because no one said y'all transferred it or even grabbed it. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, we left uh -oh. it in the preview cart. So there's a chance. So it's out in the middle yep. of the desert. Yeah. Well, I mean, we once we leave the village... It's out in the yep. middle of the desert. Let me, let me rephrase <laughs> that. If we leave the village... <laughs> oh, God. I feel bad for Ugg. Gosh. Ugg is there for moral support, support at this point. <laughs> He's there for moral support, but can't talk. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So y'all are in the cave. You're looking around. You know, I uh, you feel rumbles every once in a while of where you know rocks are collapsing further down in the cave and everything. And uh, you guys, you know, you're looking around. You see a bunch of like what you know, like there's still fire lit, you know, from campfires and torches and stuff. But you don't hear any chattering. You don't hear like pickaxes or anything. You don't hear people. It's like, it's almost like everyone in here has just vanished. I, I shout out, is anyone down here? Just the echoes coming back to you. Well, um, it's, it's probably best if we keep going then. They might be trying to, if everyone just vanish they might be trying to have escort them through the back yeah we better hurry before they possibly get themselves killed that that is that is true i mean these i mean these thugs know how to fight and everything but they're not exactly the quietest which means they're probably going to end up fighting every little thing along the way Well, Vanessa, um, Vanessa just giving Morgoth a knowing look before it's like, let's go. I give her this is where we die and look <laughs> as I start to fall. <laughs> yep. So you start making your way, kind of walking down uh, the little path there and um, you eventually get to a portion where you can hear like a very faint sh like chattering down um, a certain like uh, like dark path essentially you can uh, like you can discern that there's a, a bit of chatter down there it sounds like a multiple people like it's basically like the echoes of uh, like a bunch of people essentially gathered and you know making their way down but you don't see any light in the tunnel Vanessa pulls out one of her torches and lights it. Oh, I see. Um, a tunnel. Not very big tunnel, but tunnel. This is to be fun, a dark, cramped tunnel. I. This is gonna be. This is gonna be great. Are you claustrophobic too? Uh, yeah, sure. It's it's just the thing that it's just the it's just the thing that you know Eric, Eric Cockers kind of kind of have. Where a lot of us are claustrophobic. Um, I would you know in some in some cases I would I would say you know almost all uh, Eric Cockers are claustrophobic. But you you know you never know. You guys get like a glimpse back and you just see Ugg is just shaking. Just oh, no. out of the, out of the flashbacks. 
I cast, um, as a, not cast, I use my telepathic um, speech to Ugg, and I'm just like, here, I'll just stick by us, I'll, we'll find a torch or something, and you'll be okay. Because I can obviously see him shaking, I just want to see if he'll respond with any words. Ugg is just shaking, not really paying attention. And I kind of just like go up to him and like put my hand on his shoulder, and I'm just like, when when you put your hand on his shoulder, he kind of jumps a little bit. I'm like, it's I'm just like, it's going to be okay. We're going to go through here, and we're going to find an exit, and we're going to get out. Okay, we'll be back in the bright sunshine as soon as we can. So just follow us. We'll make sure everyone gets out of here safely. So I try to like, I try, I attempt to nudge him along. Like, come on, we gotta go. I mean, he's still there, kind of like following you guys, shaking him. Okay. And I'm just trying to like stay by him, just being like, like uh, I'm your more, I'm your moral support because I know you're scared of this shit. Yeah. So you make your way down the tunnel a bit and uh, eventually, you know, after walking for a few minutes, um, you start to see a faint glow at the very end. Uh, like, you basically like around a, uh, around a, like a corner, you see, you know, a faint glow coming from around the corner and um, you then see like, you then see the Warhammer Eric Cocker kind of like start to start to walk up ahead and he's just He's just like, wait a second, guys. I'm not entirely convinced here. We may be hearing chattering, but I'm not convinced by that light. What light? It wasn't light. And so, uh, th the light that was right around the corner. Reflecting off the walls from okay. Um, I, I feel like I'm the only one who heard about the light around the corner. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. See that light right there? It seems a little odd. See beforehand, you know, it sounded like people were walking away from us constantly. But if they were walking away, how did that stop? It's almost like they just stopped out of the blue. If they were to m try to make it through here, they would keep going. Not to mention, you can't, I mean, I don't know about any of you, but I don't hear any more chattering from them. And all that of you kind of like, uh, I think you want to back up. Or die slowly. Um, I mean, I don't know. It just, it just seems odd. Well, we can move more slowly, but if anything, it's probably just a place marker so they know where they've been. Um, I mean, I guess it just, I don't know. This seems a little more planned. I light a torch. Vanessa also has a torch out, if anyone didn't hear that. Yes. Oh, sorry. I I light a torch and kind of like throw it like ahead of us. She's throwing it at the end. Yeah. Okay. Like. Yep. Yeah. So you end up throwing the torch, and as soon as it uh, hits the wall, you then see like a huge blast of flames just. 
blast from around the corner, hits the walls, and then you hear like a loud roar uh, from around the corner, and you just, uh, and then you just hear like the faint echoes of. Did it get him? Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, Where oh we better, no. Got one? Oh no. We didn't, didn't, we didn't cage this stink. We didn't cage this stink for nothing. It's the only thing we got. I know. Now shut up. Because if it didn't get them, they're hearing everything. What? What, what are they going to hear? The fact that there's a big dragon making sure they can't walk through the tunnel? Yes, that's the thing you're not supposed to say, doofus. There was a dragon? I thought it was just a fire trap. Oh, God. I'm just, <laughs> like, I'm kind of getting flashbacks to Org Boo. <laughs> okay. Maybe this one won't melt your face. Oh. Like, I'm kind of, like, regressing into, like, a Morgeth voice for a second. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, how are we supposed to get past that? Well, I I guess I do have a barrel of oil. You do. Maybe have a I'd like oil. to be sprayed by it. Like burnt? Never mind. I mean, I could take the barrel of oil and distract it. I I just realized it, it's a fire-breathing dragon. No. Well, if you so throw it at its mouth, it probably have resistance to it, but it might do something. Might make it distracted long, long enough to for us to get across. I mean, I could attempt to distract it, and let you all go across, because I have the strongest armor, and obviously I just withstood an explosion. I think I'll be okay. If you in, if you insist, but I'm I'm not sure it's going to be the greatest of ideas. Do you think that this could possibly be Orgbu at all? Or no? I doubt it. They would Orgbu wouldn't have been captured so easily. Also, uh, didn't uh, never mind. He's out of the question entirely because didn't he spit acid? But wait, can't acid dragons also spit fire too? No. No, not at all? Okay, I thought you said he casted fire one time. Ah, I think I might have something. I think I could absorb the flame as we run by. Wait, can I also do that? <laughs> yeah, I think you have the same ability. Uh, I think is, that, is that a fire rune? Are, are you talking about the rune stuff? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that won't work. Because you can't yeah, run while casting. You have to stand still to, to cast it. So basically, you would have to run in front of it, cast it, and then absorb all that fire. I'll do and it. And hope it takes a breather. And I'll hope it, it takes I, a breather. I will do it. I'll do it. Because I, got, I can do that as well. I stand there. I have a high armor class. I have resistance to fire. I'll do it. Uh, are you sure this is... I mean, if it's really a dragon... Yes, I know. If it's really a dragon, I'm going to do my best to keep the flames at bay you know, while the rest of you I, go. I think I can just make a distraction. Just throw the barrel the one direction and we'll run the other way. If it tries to shoot fire, then you can try to absorb it. Too. That works, too distract it then I'll I have absorbed flames at the ready so I'll like, go ahead and cast one fire rune just to be ready um <sighs> is it absorb fire oh yes yeah, literally the two runes I know so <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, 
Okay. So are we, are we ready? I hope so. Ah, uh, so. terrifying. Cool. cool. So, um, so your plan is your plan is to jump in front of it, cast the, the runes to to cast absorb fire, and then have everyone else run past. Uh, the plan is to throw the bar oil barrel of oil the opposite direction we're running from, running towards the. Okay. And if the dragon somehow turns its head, then we you absorb flame. Well, I'll use it. Y'all keep going, because like I said, I have a high armor class and resistance to fire. So there's the potential that I could live through this. And me thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and dump my lay on hands pool on myself. Because <laughs> I, I also have cure wounds, so I'm just going to dump it into myself. Because I kind of want to live for a little longer. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't do all of it. I'll do 15. So I'll have 15 left. Actually, no, I'll do 10, so I have 15 left and I'll have 47. I'll get, I'll get going to the kind of like, or it's going to cast a water and a spirit run to cast water away. Just Why did it bring me up to max health? I think I might have typed in the wrong number. Um. Uh -huh. I was at what? 37? 37. Uh, you have. Uh, oh, was that? On the one I have, you were at 24. Well, no, because then you gave me some back yeah. and I had 37. Yeah, then I gave you 13, I believe. Yeah, then that would be 37. So, 37. yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go 37, then I'll put 47. 47 health points. I still have 15 health points. For if I need to heal up afterwards, or if I need to heal one of you. Okay. So are we all set? Oh. Yes. Is it hot in here? Very. Yep. Okay. So. This is gonna be fun. Okay. I wanna throw the bear on now, but. Okay. Run like. Run like a. Run like a. Run like a. Bad out of hell? Throw the barrel, though. So, you throw the barrel. Um. About a second after the barrel leaves your hands. Um, you hear once again the loud roar of fire basically splashes up against the wall and uh, you hear the crackle of like like wood basically just uh, like the the wood breaking and everything just like a like a basically a bonfire happening up against this run wall. yep run so y'all start running. Uh, y'all start run. Uh, y'all start running, and uh, as all of you basically go out into the the center hall, you see, um, you see uh, the two thugs there, uh, kind of like freak out, and uh, you see, you you see both of them like freak out. One of them's got a, a huge like stick, essentially. They've got pointed in the cage. They poke the dragon. It swings its head around, basically like firing fire straight in the direction of all you guys. All right, so I cast my two runes. Okay, uh, I am going to need you, my good friend, mm -hmm. to roll me, uh, let's see, a good old uh, constitution... Saving throw? Uh, constitution check. Check. Yep. I get the water wisp to start like spraying water around it. <laughs> Ten. 
Um, so, uh, you go on and you start casting it. Um, uh, you start casting it. Uh, you get it out just a second late, so I need everybody roll me, uh, dude, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, so everybody needs to roll a, uh, dexterity saving throw. Even me? Uh, no, you nah. you don't. Uh, okay, because yeah, you're not I'm... dodging. You're ca you're casting. Yeah, I'm taking the brunt of this. You're you're taking this. So, I've got eight. Vanessa, okay. Uh, I got sixteen. D does anything happen because the wa the weak water was is like spraying water or no? He did cast a water wisp, but I did hear that. Uh, oh, the water wisp does nothing. Okay. Oof, well, it, that thing dies. Yeah. Shucks. The water thought... wisp is dead. Yeah, I was um, just trying to spray water. So. Yeah. So, cool. you. Yeah. So basically, um. I heard a lot of dice, by the way. <laughs> yes. You oh did. no. Uh, oh no! So, um. Let's see. Do, do, do. <sighs> I don't care if anything happens to me, I just don't want anything to happen to you guys. Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, I need to check this real quick. Um, so, um, yeah, so flames go out, you're able to cast it, you know, taking some of the damage, uh, so, um, if you did not, for all of the deck saving throw, if you did not roll, uh, let's see, the save DC was 17. On the deck oh, saving no. throw. If you it's did nice. not, if you did yeah. not roll that, you were going to take. Uh, oh crap! Wait a minute. I didn't do this correctly. Uh, uh, you were going to take thirty fire damage. Oh god! So everyone that did not, yeah, d did anybody make the DC? No. no. Okay, so you are all going to take 30 fire damage. If you have a resistance, that's only half of it. Oh my gosh. But that's the only at 2 HP, bro. Yeah! Oh! Uh, uh, let's go. You, uh, Uggs at what? Oh, nice. Oh, right. oh, Waffles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Rylan's going to gonna do Stone's Endurance. Okay, oh. nice. Yeah, you can do that. Feel free. Okay. Uh, it takes away five, so it's 25 now. Okay, yeah. So, you take 25 fire damage. Man, that's yeah, a lot. 15, let's go! Yep, yeah. oh my gosh. So, did I only take 15, or did I actually, like, take... Uh... That's just for them, right? This is not for me. Uh... You, um... I'm probably getting it worse because I'm not trying to move. Oh, um, that is, uh, the, uh... Let's see. No, just for no, the no, you're... Character. No, you're... Well, you're taking 15 because you have the resistance. Okay, so fire. I do only take 15. Okay. You only take 15, yeah. All right. You have a well, resistance then. to fire, so you only take that. Yeah, no, you don't take more damage because the fact that, uh... The reason they took damage is because you couldn't, you didn't cast a spell fast enough. Okay. So yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> well, okay. Well, at least they're alive. So yeah, okay. I just kind of go, I kind of go run and like get ready to cast it again. So I'm gonna keep this thing distracted while they get the hell out. Oh no, it's just it's. It's in our path. Uh, actually, wait a minute. No. But I thought it yeah, was no. off to the side. While we're running along the path. 
What? What is that? What is the layout of this room? I'm glad you finally asked because y'all just like started assuming stuff immediately. Yeah, I was like, um, what? So, I, I... yeah. So basically, it's a, so the, it's a huge cavern there. Um, basically, you guys are following the right, uh, are essentially following the right wall around. There is a door located. Um, there, it basically, so there's two layers of basically steps. Uh, the first layer of steps leads up to the cage, which is about, like, it's not that much. It's like five, six steps. And then you get to the cage layer. And then to the left and the right of that are two extra steps that lead to the side, which go up a good, like, 15 steps. And then at the top of that's a, a little wooden platform that leads to a door in which you can get out. Wait. Oh, okay. What? Can you repeat that? So, it's a big dragon room. Dragon in the way. The dragon is in a cage in the way, and you have two thugs there. One's poking it with a stick. Okay. I throw my sword at the guy with the pokey stick. Uh, okay, roll for, roll for hit. Uh... Fifteen. Wait, what's happening? Okay. He threw his sword at the guy with the pokey stick. So, uh, you, you, uh, you ended up hitting him. Roll damage. Okay. Eleven damage. Okay. So you throw it. It basically slashes across him a little, across him a little bit. He stumbles back with the stick, drops it, and uh. When that happens, uh, the stick basically, like, as he's dropping it, it pokes the dragon again. Dragon oh, gets no. pissed off. Um, ah, and you just, you see him, like, start clawing the cage and everything and trying to, like, bite his way out. Uh, I get, I I'll just want to start speed boost onto Morgoth. I like, seeing this, I'm kind of like, no, no, I got this. Just go. Like I'm just I'm gonna distract the dragon while they get out and then I'm gonna follow behind them. That is that's my goal, is to distract this thing. So it doesn't blast on them. But they can still take out the thugs if they want to, but my goal is to distract. I just go, don't waste your spells! Just go! Ugg stops cast, casting and starts running towards where the door is, where he needs to go. Is there a door I, on both sides? Oh, or yeah, yeah, my sword? I think there is a door on both sides. What did you say, Arilo? Oh, I said I quickly go and grab my sword. Oh, okay. That was badass, oh, by the way, so... you throwing that sword. <laughs> yeah. So... You go for the sword, and the two guys that are standing there go. They both swing at you. Okay. I, I, I dodge the first one. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, buddy. That's what your AC is for. Uh, 16. Uh, okay, so first, first swing of the first guy is a miss, the second swing is a 16. I mean, he did lie. He did dodge the first one. He did. Yeah, he, he was did dodge wrong. The first one. Um, dealing six bludgeoning. And the second guy is going to swing at you. Uh, he's going to die. So, okay. He missed the first one. Missed the second. How much damage? I thought there was only six two guys. Bludgeoning. There was two yeah. guys. They both swing yeah. twice. Yeah. Oh, okay. The first guy swings to first, then the swing second, uh, my and the apologies. second guy swings first to second. Okay, my apologies. How much damage was it? Uh, six bludgeoning. So okay. I think you only take four damage, right? I take only three damage. Oh, three, gotcha. Mm. Oh, are you resistant to bludgeoning? 
Yeah, he's got I... uh, an armor thing for heavy, I think. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I got a heavy armor mastery. Uh, that oh, reduces... okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Cool. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. Okay. Which is I... very ironic because bludgeoning would actually do more to people in heavy armor, but. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Like, yeah. if we're thinking realistically he here, but I mean, it's the D O L. Yeah. Yeah, but Arello's a master. Exact same so. damage with a sword as a mace with someone in armor. Okay, moving on. Uh, I I grab the sword and disengage and start running out. Are you just sprinting past them? Uh, yeah. Okay, you just start running, and the two are just like, kind of like standing there, like, what the hell? So, what are the rest of you gonna do? I'm distracting this dragon. Y'all run the hell out. Well, y'all don't have time because uh, I'm just saying. Go, 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 go. go. Uggs, Uggs worry, run, run, or Rylo's run. Morgoth's standing there. <laughs> Vanessa, what are you doing? I'm... Don't. Vanessa's going to give one long look at Morgoth before running. I just kind of, I see her looking at me and I'll go, I got this! Do not fear! Yeah, and of course the two other air crockers like run with them. Um, Yeah, you see the the warhammer air cocker like run in front of Vanessa, swings the uh, his warhammer at the at the first guy, ends up just smacking the guy who had the stick before, hit him right in the gut, putting him straight into the cage, just knocking him out instantly. Oh my god! <laughs> and, <Ooh! laughs> and then the uh, and then the second guy like attempts to attack him. He ends up missing both of his swings. He's gonna turn. He's gonna hit him with a nat twenty. Yeah. And he is just gonna send him down the stairs, right past Vanessa as she walks up. I go. Uh, you knew like, this man was a warrior, but man. You hear me go? That's my boy. Yep. And just and just as yep. Uh, and just as y'all are making up the stairs and make it to the to the tunnel, uh, uh, Vanessa is able to get one glance back as she sees uh, Morgoth preparing as the dragon blasts another wave of fire at him. Yep, I cast my spells. So, um, oh yeah, you were you were ready for this, so you were able to ca able to cast it and everything. Whew. Moving on. So it did nothing. Yeah, you basically were prepared. Oh, because you were. Yeah, you actually was prepared. Last time you were still running, and then you had to stop and cast very quickly. This time, you could. Like you were able to just cast it. When it was, you know. All right. Can I cast it while walking, or do I have to be completely still? You have to be completely still. Okay, I'm just like, all right, so I'm going to have to time this just right so I can get out of here. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a cool story to tell somebody. Um, okay, so uh, the rest of you <laughs> <laughs> move on right, down the cool. tunnel. So I, uh, I am glad that I have, I have a backup now. So uh, the rest of you... Uh, the rest of you make your way down the tunnel, and as you do, you hear chatter once again at the very, you know, at the very end. And... Um, and and then you know you you hear the uh, the Fletchers just like, so uh, how many uh, of those thugs do you think are up ahead? Vanessa just like nope. has a thinking look before she's like, you guys go up on ahead. I'm gonna wait for him. If he doesn't come back in five minutes, I'm going in after him. Someone, please, just hold her down. Shush, you're the wind. <laughs> That's why I'm talking quietly. I'm, I'm sure he's fine. He's 
He's slightly resistant to fire. No, I am very much resistant to fire, so I'm gonna be fine. Uh, yes. Kind of like shaking, kind of looks at Vanessa's shoulder, and just look. I think you should worry face. about uh, go. Listen, I'm gonna be fine because I because if because that dragon is trapped like everyone else here. If we leave uh, it here, it's going to die. Ugg then uses both of his hands to point at uh, Orilo. Just like, seriously, this man is the one you want to leave us with? Listen, I won't be gone for long. I... I just... I don't... Ugg like, tap, just kind of like taps his wrist. Okay. I just don't feel right leaving that dragon in a cage. If we can reason with it, help us get us help us get out of here along with it. I'm not here, but I just want to say great minds think alike cuz that was my exact plan. <laughs> It just doesn't... I'm sorry, it just doesn't feel right leaving the dragon in a cage. Vanessa is like, kind of like, takes a few steps back before turning around and starts heading back. Just don't die, me! Vanessa, putting up, like, putting up her, like, left hand, like, wasn't planning on it. Uh, oh, okay, Ugg. But, uh, I, I guess let's make sure the pass is clear. Ugg's got, Ugg's kind of like got one hand in it, one, uh, he, or he's got his head in his hand, and he's just kind of like looking down, kind of just like that, and just kind of slowly gives Arello a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. I look down the path. Uh, I, I check for for traps. That that's the first time I thought I was gonna say that. Uh, I I check for traps. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah, you walk you down the path. Me. You do not see traps. Here, I'll be uh, back. Like the, so... like there, you don't you don't notice any traps whatsoever. Okay. Keep going and keep checking for traps. So, oh, trip wired. Brock's fall. Everyone dies. Um. Ah, damn. <laughs> I, love, I love how accepting that was. Like, ah, damn. <laughs> well, guys, gotta. I guess we gotta plot the old character sheet again. <laughs> uh, no, there's 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 no traps. So. Uh, you end up walking a bit, and you uh, you kind of see uh, a faint glow of uh, you know a, like a, a fire in the distance, you know, down the tunnel. Um, as you start to hear uh, chatter a bit more, getting louder as you go toward it. I, I shout out, "Hey guys, we managed to roast those intruders with a fire dragon." <laughs> you then hear a voice uh, uh, you hear a voice kind of like yell down and it's just like what I, I, I said can't hear you. I said we managed to roast those intruders so you managed, you managed to roast, roast? Some, some, some what some? We managed to burn some intruders. So. I'm 
Are you Are one of the thugs or not? Who asks like that? <laughs> <laughs> I was. I wanted you. John, I wanted you to go. You burnt the strudel? <laughs> computer? What's a computer? <laughs> Your voice, Your voice doesn't, doesn't sound, sound familiar. familiar! Who, Who are, are you? We're in a cave. It's me. It's Who's me? me? It's me, Davey from college. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> it's Jeremy from uh, next door. Bro. Oh, hi, oh, hi, Jeremy! Jeremy! Wait, 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 I don't have a Jeremy next door. Wait, 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 I don't have a next door. You don't remember me? I was with Jake from State Farm. <laughs> don't make me come over there and beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we wouldn't want, want that. that. Don't put them on guard, Garka. <laughs> gotta stop being the you wind. Then, like, you, you then, like, uh, you hear, like, a, another voice come down. It's like, uh, you hear another one yell down. Okay, okay who the who hell, hell are you? you? I just told you who I am. It's Jerry. It's Jerry. You know? Jerry! Oh, Wait a minute, you, you said, said Jeremy, Jeremy then J J Man, just, just walk, walk down, down the tunnel! tunnel. Okay, okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> this this just reminds me of like, the whole thing of just like in Pokemon you have to like make eye, co eye contact to do like Pokemon <laughs> battles. <laughs> yeah. So you just like stand right in front of them out of their vision. Yeah. So um you end up walking down the tunnel and then uh it you, it meets on like a kind of like an open room, and uh, you, I'm uh, Jerry, you know, the guy that brought the TNT cart, and uh, you, you're you're met with a room of basically just refugees, and you know, like you see a bunch of air cockras, and you know, uh, like you know, a bunch of like scrawny humans. Everyone in here looks pretty weak. You're looking around and. Um, you see one guy, uh, you see one guy there, uh, who's kind of like, who's kind of, you know, medium built. Um, he looks a little more, um, he's got a little more muscle than the rest of him. And he goes, I see you're the one that was trying to yell down the, the tunnel. Look, we can't see in that tunnel. We don't know who it is, but I can tell you right now, I know that you're not one of, one of the, the thugs here. You're trying to keep us in the mind so who are you oh oh i'm uh orilo i'm with the uh fetcher bro. oh Rilo. well wait did it did everyone that made it past go with them or was it just a rilo it's every, everyone else is okay. for they're making their way out well, I see O'Rilo. You bring any friends? Yeah. A few. Okay, and they, you know, walk out from the tunnel into the room and it's like, I see. You, you did, in fact, bring friends. Uh. So, uh, why are you here? We heard some loud explosions and then we started getting evacuated by, well, the two buffoons you probably met up with. We're uh, going to get you out of here. We're going to take the uh, back entrance. So. Back entrance? Do you realize the danger yeah. of the back entrance and how long it is? That's why we're here, bro. Okay. Um... Right, that's just gonna be fun. 
Okay, well, um... I'm not entirely sure what you're capable of, but... It's gotta be, uh... Gotta be better than what we're capable of by ourselves, so... Appreciate the help. Uh, well, welcome aboard. Name's Arthur. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Okay. What's your last name? <laughs> Shut up, wind. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hear a country accent and I hear Arthur and I'll, uh, you know who I immediately I'm trying to just come up with a name. Why can't you be Arthur Morgan? <laughs> and why can't you be quiet, wind? Because it's windy outside, John. I got a plan, Arthur. Because <laughs> I'm Dutch and I always got a plan. Gosh. All right, I'm gonna shut okay, up. so how much food uh, does do we have? How many days? So uh, we got about I don't know, without a shipment or anything, we got roughly about four days of food, which is enough to get out of this cave. But only if we keep moving. If we sit here any longer, we might not have that food available. Okay. Well, dang it, uh, that was a very uh, big switch up in music. Yeah, that really was. It's really hard to switch it up when it's super. Yeah. Oh, sh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> Turn it back on. <laughs> okay. Gather what you need. Fine. Is there anyone who yes. has the strength to to uh, be able to give a good few swings? So, I. Uh, well, he, you see all the others kind of like turn away and everything. And he just, just kind of looks. Look, look n none of these people here are fighters. If they were fighters, well, they wouldn't be down here. They would have. They would have actually fought back by now. So if you're trying to find people to fight, it ain't gonna happen. All these people know how to do is run and hide. Okay. Well. I guess let's uh, get moving then. Yep. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's start heading out then. So, gets up, he starts trying to gather people, and then from there, he kind of lets you guys, you know, let let you kind of lead the way and everything. You make your way through for a while. And, uh, you know, you, you make your way through and you eventually, uh, uh, you know, after traveling for a while, days, days of traveling, days of traveling underground. So what happened to Morgoth and Vanessa? We'll We're going get, get to that. that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Gosh, spend you, about you spend about three days of traveling underground. You know you just keep you know you keep trekking on and uh, you finally get to kind of like a you, you get you know cl what you can assume is close to the end considering you're starting to feel a, a draft of some kind. Um, very faint, but you can feel it. And uh, Arthur kind of stops and goes. You feel that too, right? Yep. It's like there's a draft. I think Hopefully it's coming from up ahead. Thing. Yeah, I hope so. And you okay. see, you see him, you know, walk a, uh, you know, you see him walk up ahead a little bit, and then you see him stop and just step back, and he goes, "There's a really big, there's a really big spit roast up ahead." A real big what now? 
I, I go and check around. Yep. And you turn and you see this very large campfire with like a, a basically a, like a huge chunk of meat just on a spit roast above the fire. That is a very big spit. I don't want to know what made that. But we got to get around it. I don't see anything that's necessarily, well, dangerous, for say. Okay. So do we just want to make a break for it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I get my, uh, Gun, I, Betsy, ready? New kick. Let's go. Okay. Everyone stay nice and quiet and just run right back to you. Yep. Let's do this. Okay. We're going to send, we're going to send people. Okay. We're going to send people three at a time. To make to make their way past. As soon as we see that, the, as soon as we see a group makes it uh, makes it to uh, to the halfway point, which is right next to the right next to the campfire, we'll send another three, and we're gonna keep doing that until we eventually make our way out. Okay. 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 So, do you want to go first? I'll. Oh, go ahead then. Okay. Uh, any 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 volunteers to go with them? You see the uh, the Fletcher kind of step up. It's like I, I I I I'll go. I'm not exactly a fan of these caves, so I, I kind of want to get out as fast as possible. And he kind of looks over at Uggs, just like. Ugg's kind of like, Ugg's kind of like shaking, and kind of like slightly raising his hand. Okay, okay. Well, it's settled. You three, you're gonna be the first ones to make a break for it. Okay. Whenever you're ready, go on ahead and make the break. You'll start the chain. Okay. I kind of just pick up Ugg and start heading across the. So you start running, uh, you start running in a, like about halfway between where you were and the campfire. You then hear these loud rumbles, boom, boom, boom. It makes you stop in your tracks for a moment and then coming around the corner, just boom, boom, boom. You see a large shadow kind of just emerge from around the corner. And then you just see, like, you see, like, walking around the corner, it's just a large cyclops, just kind of like, uh, just kind of like getting close, like, walking around toward the campfire, starting to kind of like bear, bear down on you as it's like walking to the campfire. And it looks over and it sees you, it sees all the people behind, and you just hear it go, food? No, and, just a bunch of uh, <laughs> sticks and bones. So. It just, just a sticks and bones. Here. <laughs> you yeah, you see it just kind of like look over. Uh, you, you see it look over at like the huge group, and then uh back at you, and it just goes food as you as it like basically picks up uh and ends up like picks up the club that's on its back like the huge club it has takes it and it goes to like swing at you and then out of nowhere you uh, then out of nowhere from like uh like out of nowhere like from behind you you hear a flap of wings and then fire blasts out from above you firing right in the cyclops making it topple back as you see Vanessa and uh Moragoth riding the dragon, the red dragon from before. 
just Hell riding yeah. in, <laughs> making this, making the uh, Cyclops topple back, smack down onto the campfire, and he's just like ha ta 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 ta, and from and from there you just hear uh, uh, you just hear Arthur go, "What you standing there for? Run!" And everyone just starts booking it out of the cave. Good, I mean, good thing that Vanessa Morgoth warned Rilo about the, the Cyclops, yeah, the right? Cyclops. <laughs> or did Rilo forget that? I I don't think I ever heard about the Cyclops. <laughs> no, because when we kept talking about the cave, there was a Cyclops and lots of bats. Oh, they oh haven't yeah. Bats yet. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> They run past the Cyclops. Um, people start making in. Then you just hear a bunch of like, a bunch of like high pitched screeches, and then people screaming, like around the corner, and uh, then like as you kind of like, uh, like as you kind of like make your way, you then see like a bunch of bats flying everywhere while people are running by. One or two people get knocked over into the water below, and you see others just kind of like, uh, trying to like basically like swat bats off of them while they're running by a giant bat comes in swoops one guy drags him I shoot the bat. Drag... are you gonna shoot him okay roll for hit yeah. oh uh, my god this turned into so much chaos we could have just gotten on the dragon i'm also gonna shoot i mean you bat. you two are on the dragon i yeah, got on the dragon. A, a dirty 20 <laughs> oh man you shot the shit out of that thing yeah uh yeah, you. So you shot the bat. Um, you shot the bat, and as you did that, it kind of dropped the guy a little bit. He, you stops. A couple people go and try to help him up. They start running again. Um, another like okay. a large swarm of bats start like coming down and just like, uh, right in the the middle of everybody, just like coming and just diving straight down at them. Uh, I try uh, to like, scare attempting. them off with a uh, flamethrower. Just like. Shoot flamethrower at the ceiling. Okay, so you fire, you fire it in their direction. Um, and you see a good portion of them dodge it, but some of them get hit, and you see probably about like eight, uh, about eight or ten of them just like, kind of, uh, like eight or ten of the bats just kind of like fall down into the, uh, into the water, basically like on fire, dying essentially. The rest of them start flying all over the place, scattering. People are just running through. Hurry, keep going. Go. So they make their they make their way around. They start making it into the tunnel portion, and as they make it in the tunnel portion, you hear more screams and everything. And uh, then you get to the the huge chamber at the very end where you can see the exit, and uh, like you see a couple people, like you know, a bat. Uh, you see one or two bats come down. Uh, you you see one bat that's sitting there just like like basically biting into uh, like a dude's neck essentially, and then you see two oh. others. You see two other giant bats just coming straight down, uh, attempting to, to grab two more people. I basically grab my sword, and I guess not really knowing it, I kind of like throw it angrily, commanding it like to just cut up those bats. Wait, who do you throw the sword to? I, I throw the sword at the bat. Oh, like, okay. Like, uh, roll for hit. Trying to cut them up. Okay. Yeah. Roll for hit. Uh, 24. Okay, well, that's a hit. So, yeah, you throw it. You in, you, in, you throw it at him. Hits, you know, it hits the bat, instantly killing it. I was just gonna start using like or start casting water hose and like start pushing some of the bats back. Yep. Yeah, you Vanessa's fire gonna... you fire it pushing them back, making them scatter. Vanessa's gonna like tap the dragon like a bit and be, and it's just like, can you deal with those big bats? I wonder, do I it kinda it, 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 it kinda does like a like an angry like uh snort that like makes steam come out of its nose and then uh, and then you see it like fire another bit of like fire essentially off. Um, 
hitting a bunch of the bats. Vanessa just kind of whispers a thank you to it. Well, not kind of whispers, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. quietly. I can't believe we lived and got on a dragon! <laughs> okay. But, yeah, uh, lots of people are making it out. You start seeing some making it out of the exit. And then, uh, you know, you see Arthur there. Um, you see Arthur kind of, like, uh, standing there, like, directing people. And then you see uh, this, like, large bat that's, like, bigger than, like, all the other ones you've seen come down and just, like, grab them. Arthur, no! Arthur, you're not dying again! <laughs> Oh crap! Uh, but I think kind of like looks at Morgoth. How are we gonna do this? Well, to be fair, the bat right. has grabbed him. You might want to decide. The bat has. I, a, I, we have a dragon. I start blasting. Vanessa's like You know right. what? For, for old time's sake, I'm gonna throw a guiding bolt. Okay. Gonna... Guiding bolt to firing a gun and Vanessa. Uh pat the dragon before firing her crossbow at the big bad. Big bat. <laughs> big bad. Big bad. Big bad bat. Yeah. Okay. So all three of you roll for hit. I am casting at the second level, so come on. Dang. I got a thirteen. Uh, we got a 15. Got a 19. Two, two, two. Uh, let's see. Waffles, what'd you get? Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, all three of you roll damage. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Uh, I, got, I got 21 damage. I got 8 damage. Eight damage as well. Yep. Okay. So thirty-seven. Um, you damage. see this? You see this thing get about? You see this thing get about ten feet off the ground as both uh, as all three of you basically hit it at the same time, and with this epic, uh, and with this like this epic basically shot of cool mystical bullet powers, you just mm -hmm. pierce th like right through the the bat, killing it, dropping Arthur, and you just see the the huge bat it's like uh, about like nine feet wide just smack straight into the ground and huge blood splat right behind him and you even like see like basically his whole back just gets drenched in blood uh as he hits the ground and he gets up kind of brushes himself off for a second you know as people are as the last few people are running out and he goes all right well thank you and he makes his way out Oh, that was close. I so. I guess I start searching for my sword. <laughs> okay, yeah, you you simp you find that. So yeah, you find that. Okay. Yeah, you find that. <laughs> so, um, you make it outside. Everybody's kind of standing out in the little the little swamp area right outside and. Um, you know, they're trying to get their bearings, and Arthur goes, well, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to, how I'm supposed to thank all of you for what you just did. Not only did you save my life, but you just saved the lives of many here. Whew. There's a lot of running. Yes. Look, they don't have us running often. They just have us swinging a pickaxe for a while. And after all that, we're exhausted and having to do all this running. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Hopefully, you'll when we get back to the village or wherever we're going, we can get a good rest. Yep. 
you then see like through the the crowd of people that are talking there you see uh the uh the fletcher kind of uh you see the fletcher kind of like walk around and uh there he walks from the midst of the the crowd and he and he goes well we did it mostly you did it but we did it well we all had our part to play so yes we did it yep we we really did it man <sighs> in just like a very like tiny voice you hear just like never drag me into a cave again <laughs> just this tiny little voice Kind of like I look over at Ugg and like shot. Wow, your your friend talks. Vanessa is gonna give Ugg a big hug. Ugg's gonna hug her back. Say again. He said he would hug you back. Oh, okay. I didn't fully hear because I was talking as well. More gotchas goes. We'll. Try not to, buddy. Pass me. The last yeah. place I want to be is in a cave. Well, what y'all did here was great. You, uh, you helped reunite me with my family. Seems like they're all okay. A little tired, but able to see my wife and children now so thank you Fletcher do you think it's about a good time you tell us your name finally <sighs> no <laughs> we, we did go we did go to hell and back I think uh, I, I I think uh, it's it's probably it's probably time. Um, so the the reason I didn't want to tell you my name is because it's it's a very strange name. It's uh it's actually a name that was um passed down through generations and generations of people. Um. I've had one of the weirdest lineages I've ever seen. Um, and so based upon my however many greats grandmother, um, she had a, a great friend that uh, apparently the, the story of her and her friend passed all the way down to my mother which gave me my name Orkbu. oh my god <laughs> wait and so wait 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 how's your wife which what? one is your wife which one is your wife over here who <laughs> is your who is your great 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 uh, awesome grandmother? yeah yeah, actually, who is your great 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 Okay, well then, yeah, that's kind of uh, obvious. Yeah, uh, her name was Cassidy. <laughs> Vanessa's just face just fucking lights up. After that, just like, I know her. <laughs> well, uh, technically, we're only assuming, but you know, greatest coincidence in the world. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, Cassidy's the only one that... Yes, um, but but if you remember, you're the one that gave Cassidy the name Cassidy. Yeah. 
But we're also saying that the name called out to Vanessa. Yeah, because the name did kind of call out to Yeah, Vanessa. it actually was a plot hole, so we fixed it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it was a, a plot huge hole. plot hole, so we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. We settled this like 12 episodes ago. Get with the times. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Yeah, uh, we kind of met her ghost along with Orgbu. Well, the actual Orgbu. Uh, so, yeah, just know, just know your namesake is still out there. Uh, okay? Yes. I don't really understand that, so I'm just gonna go on to the next thing. Um, yeah. I know all of you kind of did this you know, partially out of the kindness of your hearts, but I assume you want some form of payment uh, for all of this craziness. I mean, hey, most, if not everyone, is alive. Well, besides... We lost two. Two. That is... The greatest track record this our group has had. This wow, y'all must be really bad at your jobs. <laughs> uh, it depends on the job. Yeah. Highly depends on the job. Yeah. So we usually <laughs> just stay with, with it ourselves, so... This is our first time, like, actually saving a group of people. And we lost two people. I I don't know about the rest of them, but I say we did a pretty good job. I I feel like, at least to me, that was payment enough. But if you want to pay us, I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, um, why does it always crash at the end every time? <laughs> Maybe it's just foreshadowing the end of. <laughs> well, um. <sighs> well, um, I mean, before all of this, I did kind of promise your friend, uh, as he points to Ugg. I did promise him that I'd give him a bow that he wanted in my shop. Well. I guess I would assume that may be payment enough for him, but... I don't Let's really work. have a whole lot to give, though. Let's worry about payment when we get back into town. Yes, I have to agree that, with that. that. That is true. That is true. We got a few people to check up on. I actually kind of want to... I want to go ask the dragon its name. I don't know if we ever got acquainted. But that's so, what going to go with more now. Yep. He, so you see the Fletcher turn, he starts trying to like gather people so they can start walking, and you see people start to kind of like march their way out of the swamp area and start making their way to the desert. Meanwhile, y'all walk up to the dragon, and you just see the dragon kind of like, you kind of see the dragon just kind of like sitting there like, just kind of like looking at like this, basically like one of the trees in the swamp. Say he's looking at the trees in the swamp? Yeah. Oh. I kind of, um... I walk up and approach the dragon, and I'm just like... So... Dragon, we freed you, but I don't think we ever really got acquainted. What is your name? Well... Clearly you have you have a learned Dragons don't have names. Hmm. 
well, why not? How else are people going to fear you besides just being a dragon? You should, put your, you should give yourself a name, put it out there. But that's... Dragons don't need names to communicate with one another. We know who each other are just by the stench. That makes sense. But either way, we thank you for your help in getting our friends out of there. We probably well, wouldn't have been able to do it as easily without you, if at all. Let's just say we're even. Absolutely. But, either way, I guess this is goodbye. <sighs> Take care, and enjoy your freedom, my friend. Uh. <sighs> you know what? Hmm. I think he was right. And you just see him turn and just like with one flap of his wings, he's in the air and he just flies off into the distance. What? I... Wait, I what? <laughs> I should have been listening. Well, anyway. Should have been... uh... Oh, oh, you're talking about him. Okay. You're telling me that I should have been listening? or the, you, You're the one that said what? Oh, I, I said what. Oh. Yeah, I rather also said what. Oh. But yeah, I, I realized that I could have thrown that barrel of oil at that spear guy. <laughs> I mean, it, it, we got through it, so it's okay. You got through it. So. I mean, all I know is that he said we don't need names to be we know because we know each other by our stench and then that was You'll pretty much it later. yeah my headphone disconnected like through half of that talk and I'm just like damn it but <laughs> you'll, I'm, you'll I'm... have to go watch it later yeah um okay so of course everybody else has pretty much just walked off so y'all plan on just standing here no we're gonna we're gonna go back at, we're gonna follow it we're gonna okay catch up with them just making I, sure. I kind of feel like I, I need to take this all in just for a, just for a second. Okay, cool. Yeah, t t tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, all of y'all pretty much head back. Um, spend about another day of walking and traveling with the entire group. And you a finally make it. Course? I mean, you really, you really just want that. Sure, take take a long rest. Yeah, yay! Um, you yay. make your you make your way back to the you make your way back to the village, and uh, you end up walking up uh, against the uh, the edge of the fence, and uh, you see the guards from before kind of standing there. But like as y'all kind of like approach it. You see all of them kind of like throw their weapons down and the uh the one the one guard they kept that was kind of suspicious of all of you before just goes I'm so glad you dealt with him. I couldn't <laughs> stand that guy. Uh, we couldn't either. That's why I'm glad he got blown into pieces. Yeah. Gosh. Well, I'm. Well, I don't mean oh. to drag, but we we couldn't have done it without you, for letting us in. Quite literally. <sighs> so. Look, I didn't think you'd pull it off. I'm be totally honest, but I thought, you know, if you happen to do it, it saves me a bunch of trouble, because it was either yeah. you guys were gonna try to put a bullet in them or I would. Which, I don't, 
I don't well, care how you did it. All I know is I heard a report that he's dead. And the world will be better for it. Yep. He was true scum. Absolutely. Uh, I have a quick question. Did a ro did a robot leave while we were in the mine? I don't uh, think he made it. Made it with us. So. Yeah, he he was left with the rest of the group. So I'm wondering if he left to go for a tea again. I haven't seen anybody come out. The only people that's gone, you know, ever since y'all came in, nobody's gone in and or out, in or out. So. Okay. All right. Well, that's potentially good news for us. Well, y'all uh, enjoy what you can, I guess. We will try. And so Morgoth just starts walking in. Vanessa quickly behind. Ugg follows. So, I'd go into. You'll kind of start making your way back, and you see people, um, kind of like turning. You know, each one of them pretty much going to the different places, turning down different alleys and everything. And you hear, uh, you know, cry. You know, people crying of, uh, uh you know, of, uh, you know, people crying of laughter and, you know, enjoying their times. You hear, you know, a bit of celebratory. Some people surprised and everything as people walk up to their homes for the first time in a long time and um you start making your way to the Fletcher shop uh following the Fletcher and you know his family and uh his family stops two doors down from the uh from the Fletcher shop and they all kind of start going in uh to what looks like a home and uh the Fletcher starts you know he keeps walking down to to the shop and uh as he opens the door he kind of gestures for all of you to 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 come inside and he goes well um i should probably get you get all of you paid so you could probably be on your way and i can go spend some time with my family whoo so that was good so all of you make your way inside, and um, he kind of leads you to the back room. And uh, as y'all get back there, he, you know, he once again shows his selection of bows, and he goes, "I promised your friend a bow before you did all this last time. You know, before you did this entire operation, this heist, whatever you want to call it, with me. So feel free." Um, Ugg kind of like slowly goes over to the bow that he was looking at. It's the one that hits twice. Yep. And uh, he kind of picks that picks up in like a quiet or like a like a small voice. He's kind of like, "Are you sure? I kind of barely did anything there." Hey, look, a promise is a promise. I promised this to you if you and your friends would help. And you, I mean, you did help a lot. You risked your life. If it wasn't for your mechanical friend, <laughs> you might not be standing here to take the bow. So, thank you. And then in a quiet voice, uh, Ugg says, okay then, but this is all I'll take. That and that is fine with me. For the rest of you, um, like I said, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, I don't really have money to give you. Um, all I have pretty much are like bows and arrows. You know, um, I, I'm not entirely sure what I could pay the rest of you if, you know, if the rest of you are looking for more of a payment. Well, I, I'm trying to remember if uh, Vanessa was looking at uh, an item specifically before. 
Do you have any crossbows? Uh, I, I do have some crossbows. Do you, in particular, have like a heavy crossbow? Yes. Um, I have plenty of heavy crossbows. Do you have any, like, cool, magical heavy crossbows? <laughs> or just regular um, ones? It doesn't matter, but... Um, I do have one crossbow that I, I guess would suit your fancy. Um, there is a downside to it. What is the downside, my friend? Um, well, the downside, the downside, I think it's best to show you, um, and you see him, he, you see him, like, kind of, like, grab the crossbow, and, uh, uh, he like he picks up he picks up the crossbow and you see on the very front of it uh like on the actual bow part you see like a little decal of what looks like some sort of scale and uh he goes this is uh considered the bow of uh, this is called the the uh the crossbow of alignment so the way <laughs> the the way this works essentially is uh It pulls in, uh, it pulls in magical power every time it is shot. To, uh, to cast, it, it pulls in magical power to, basically cast, uh, good and evil, uh, or detect good and evil on, uh, the, the basically the the wielder. Whenever you shoot it and you see him you know, fire it at a target across the room. Um, it will then tip the scale to whichever side you align with, and you see it tip over to, like, the good side. Well, if it's on the good side, um, if it's on the good side, it works as intended, but it does a more of a non-lethal approach. If it tips over to the bad side, it takes a lethal approach. But unfortunately, it also takes some of your life. Oh, wow. I attempt to try it. So, um, he hands it over and goes, Well, feel free to shoot at the target over there. Alright, do I just update my pants to get it, or what am I gonna do? Oh, what, just, just roll for. Um, I. Uh, I have to roll for anything or just 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 roll like a hit yeah just roll a d20 right. yeah now watch i made it like a crappy d20 <laughs> all right a six nice you got a six yeah yeah, you shot the window. <laughs> I go, where'd the arrow go? <laughs> Wait, I think uh, it closed. Not the, not the target. Can I can I try it again? Uh, sure. Okay. But if you shoot my window again, you're going to have to stop trying. Uh, yes, that's fair enough. So let me roll another d20. Dude, <laughs> I got three. <laughs> Does anybody else want to try? Vanessa grabs the crossbow. Okay. Do, can I just roll my normal hit DC for my crossbow, or yeah? Okay. A dirty twenty. Of course. Yep. 
So you fire it, you hit the target. Uh, roll damage. Uh, okay, that is going to be six damage. Okay. So, um, you know, after, after it hits the target, you then see the scale. It kind of, like, tips back and forth, and then it, it tips over to uh, the good side. And then he goes, well, that's, well, that's good. Um, it's, uh, that's, uh, it's very nice that, uh, you end up being, you end up being a good person. And, uh, you, uh, like, you, you end up, like, feeling, like, uh, kind of like a warm glow inside as you realize that, uh, the bow heals you for half the damage. Even though you're at full health. But us is like, you know, Morgoth, I, I think you should stick with your great sword. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll uh, figure out some of the weapon types to use. Yeah. Uh, can I keep this? Um, that's really expensive. So if you do, that'll that'll basically be the payment for all of you. If y'all are fine with that, I'm fine with that. Okay. Well, um, all right. Well, fucking. <laughs> Text a text no uh, a fucking speech bubble <laughs> popped up above him. I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> just subtitles under. <laughs> no, it's just like the club penguin speech bubbles. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it's been great having you all here. And uh, I hope I get to see all of you again. Thanks again for what you've done uh, for my family and for my town. I uh, I appreciate it. And so if you'll all excuse me, uh, I need to close up shop so I can uh, go visit with them for a while. Yeah, we got a metal band to find. So, yeah, but actually, I asked before he leaves, um, is there any possible way I can find someone who might have, like, a sickle? Um. A sickle or two just lying around. A, a normal sickle? Um. I mean, any type of sickle. Yeah, uh. Your best bet's probably to swing by the, uh. It's a stretch, but um, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of uh, pig herders uh, on the outskirts of town to the north. Uh, if, if you swing by there, they might have a sickle or two. You may be able to purchase off of them. Ah, I see. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. You know, crops don't really grow out here, so people don't really. Use sickles too often. Mm, true. But maybe. I just figured I would ask, but thank you. Yeah, no problem. Well. Yep. I guess. I guess that's it then. Yep. And with that, he goes and starts closing up shop. So, you all go outside as he's closing up shop and everything, and uh, you see Marquise kind of. Uh, kind of sitting in the back of the cart, um, just sitting there sipping on some tea and takes a little sip. Oh, I, hello friends. It's been a little while. Yeah. I'm glad you stayed in town. Long like, enough. To... Like the quiet voice just kind of says, Hey Marquise. Hello to you, to hello to you, to Ugg. It's been nice seeing you. 
Yes, uh, I was in fact in town. I've actually been going around um, doing a little research of my own. Um, you see, I wasn't exactly... Uh, I wasn't exactly too fond of our uh, other bird friend. So I did a little, uh, a little research behind him to, to ensure that... He wasn't leading you into a trap. Well, my leads came up short, and I couldn't find anything for a while, so I eventually just, uh, I eventually just, uh, kind of head around, uh, head around town for a while, like, searching for whatever I could, maybe to give me a little more info. And then, I just happened to stumble upon this guy dragging Ugg through uh, through the outskirts of town. The guards let him pass, so I kind of figured he must have been someone of authority. Well, I followed him up here, and well, y'all kind of know the rest. Ah, uh, yes, we do. Uh, we. I'm don't. not too. F I'm not too fond of violence, but. I'm quite fond of our friend here. We don't... And... Uh, when we went into that cave, what happened afterwards? Well, a lot of people assumed you were dead. So they kind of just scattered and just went amongst themselves. They didn't know what to do. Um, and I simply just waited around. Because I figured y'all were going to make it here, and if... I don't know, if you didn't get here within, like, a month, I probably would have just left. Fair enough. Yeah, so, as, as you should. Yes. Um, yes, unfortunately, there's not much I can do in that kind of situation, so the best, the best thing I could have done is wait. So, but here you are. Would you like some tea? You know, uh, uh, like, kind of good for now. Uh, kind of like slightly mutters. Sure, I'm always up for tea. Uh, you know, after an eventful day such as this, tea wouldn't sound too bad right now. So, of course, and he I'll starts. Yep, he starts pouring a bunch. You know, he starts getting a bunch of cups of tea out. And starts pouring it and he then kind of it, it you know as he's pouring it he goes so now that you've basically saved this town where exactly are you planning on going I, i'd say we follow up with that athens plan heading to athens okay well i mean they're <sighs> they're what there is that other town down south on the way to Athens. Oh, uh, um, yeah. What was the name of that again? I'm not entirely sure. It was, uh, Abadou? I, Ala Labi? Agrabah? Ah, uh, yes. Agrabah. Yes, I remember our, our friend, uh, Jafar. Our friend Jafar told us to, to about that place. We could right. always end up going down there. Mm, maybe. We might even run into yeah. him again. Potentially. All depends. Well, if it's on the way, then perhaps we could pass it. Perhaps we could pass through. Yeah. True. <sighs> we will. We will see. Um, I mean, we could always just follow the shoreline to Athens and then make our way to Agrabah later. All depends on where you or all of you want to go. I feel like we should pass through it. Just the past thing, Jafar, was, Jafar was kind of nice for, to us. Kind of refreshing. That is true. That is true. And there's not a lot of those type of people these days. 
uh, kind of like looks down a little bit. It's like, well, first I might have to get my stuff. Oh, right. Uh, but yeah, we should probably get uh, stuff from the old cart. Well, yeah. uh, yeah, it's, it seems, uh, it seems y'all might want to get his stuff. Um, where uh, exactly is that? In between here and the camp where the TNT cart came from. Like, I wouldn't say oh, smack so like, dab in the middle. So but... outside of the village? Yeah. Well, then what are we doing sitting here for? Let's get going! Absolutely. And so, with that, you'll head off. You'll make uh, a little trip uh, to that farmer's area, and uh, Moragoth was able to buy a sickle for the nice price of two copper uh, coins. Cool! <laughs> um, I, I had to sell one before. <laughs> so now I have it um, back now. You then make your way, you then make your way out uh, through the desert, for about an hour where you finally get to that uh where you finally get to that broken uh wagon there you get there you look in the hidden compartment where ug stuff was and that stuff's still intact but of course you know the bodies that were there are like pretty much down to the point where you can only see like a hand or a leg in the ground you know basically buried in sand as sand is being kicked around by the wind and then it allows all of you to essentially make your way starting south again. Or all of you will return in the next episode of Idiocracy. Well, isn't that a full adventure? That was... That was great. Uh, oh man, that was a lot. There was so much. That was an action-packed episode. That was an action-packed episode. That so. a, that's a great way to end that. <laughs> I, uh, I thought for sure someone was gonna die. Oh yeah, it was. Oh uh, yeah. I it, it it constantly sounded like Johnny was out for blood. I kind of was, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I gave, I gave you the perfect shot, and you were like, nah. So, what do you mean, I'm nah? With that safe, though. Yeah, I got the chance to. I gave you the perfect chance to kill. You talking about, you're talking about the dun, you talking about the dynamite? No, the dragon. Oh, the dragon. Yeah, the dragon. Oh well. And then you were like, un no, they un threw the dragon. Well, un. Unfortunately, there's a huge loophole. I'm gonna to have to talk to you about that in a minute. Um, oh, no, that's fun. No, I don't care. So... I'm glad we got to ride on the train. <laughs> I'm just like, you had the chance for blood, but I'm um, glad you didn't take yeah, it. I wasn't gonna kill you off camera though. That would have been weird. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Vanessa uh, comes good. back with more guts body. Like, <laughs> Die. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, dude, that was that was great. Um. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you press the like, subscribe buttons down below, and please comment. Uh, how do you think the future adventures will go? Do you think uh, they have another heist up their sleeve? Do you th uh, how long until they see Jafar again, or if will they see Jafar again? And do you think any weird adventures are going to happen on the way to Agrabah? Put your predictions down below, and please tell us what your favorite moments have been up to this point, and we will see all of you in the next episode of Idiocracy. This is the cast of Idiocracy saying, peace out, have an amazing night of day wherever the heck you are, and we will see all of you guys later. Bye-bye! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.